Welcome back to episode five, part two of the uh, Outsiders campaign on Strange Turns. Um, we're going to quickly go around the table, just reintroduce everybody, and then we'll get back into the game. So, Hi, I'm Allie Gertz, and I play Resnan. Chris Dalla Cruz, I play fan favorite, Gunta the Great. <laughs> I love going after the fan favorite. Hi, I'm Elise Brando, and I play Diana Varco. I'm Rob Michael Hugo, I play Helmer. I'm Lorraine de Grafenwright, and I play Friday Calendar. <laughs> and I'm Matt Cook. I'm the DM. Um, I'm a writer. I live in LA. And just wanted to say a quick uh, thanks to Guildhall for showing this. Uh, make sure you tip your bartenders. I'm never going to not say that. And also a special thanks to Seahorse Sound for letting us record here mm -hmm. and making it so this is uh, fun to watch and easy to listen to. Woo! Um, yeah. All right. Uh, we did the opening sequence already, so let's just uh, jump right into the game. The last thing that happened was you guys were in this temple ruins. Uh, you were... Zyth escaped out of the door as the, uh, the temple door closed mm -hmm. and is somewhere. Uh, a sentry was like trying to keep you there, it seemed, um, while you were there resting. Uh, you... All rest. I mean, you, a uh, resident was unconscious from the attack. Almost um, dead. Crazy. In a way. Yeah. yeah. I had an ego death. Oh. Uh, I want one. There was, <laughs> while you were guys exploring there, you, Helmer found, uh, with, with, and Kirk found a, uh, an opening in the center of the temple that sort of gave way to like a mirrored version of this, mm -hmm. uh, where you found another uh, altar mirror situation where that absorbed Freddy's gem, turned it into liquid, and then a couple of people tried to, I guess, claim it, and then Resident was able to claim it. Um, he came back to the surface, um, and the temple door started opening, revealing a figure that was so far unknown to you. Uh, and that door opens up, and you see this figure. She's like six foot five, purple skin, blue eyes. She looks like she's kind of like an explorer type. And she's just standing in there and she says, in a language that only the two of you and Kurt understand, who are you? What are you doing here? Mm. What did she say? She said. Guntar stunned at her beauty. And Guntar, what did she say? Oh, what? Sorry. Uh, she, uh, she, uh, while she's resident, resident. what she's <laughs> what she say? I'm gonna respond to her first. Oh. <laughs> um, quick, get inside. Uh, yeah. What? Can they? You can understand me. We can understand you. Okay. The others. They, can they understand me? They cannot, but we'll help them. Can yes. you We're understand a whole me? Conversation hey, without we'll, us. We'll help. Ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Will you tell her that she slays? <laughs> tell her she slays. Um, I make it seem like I say that, but yeah. I clearly don't. Uh, <laughs> Give me a quick deception check. <laughs> <laughs> like, give me an insight check. Okay. Um, uh, Eleven. <laughs> My insight check is three. Okay, great. Uh, great. <laughs> Got to oh, your uh, She goes. Uh, okay. First, everyone just remain calm. If Stay they can't calm. speak, will you tell them to look at the, the eyes of this thing? Look into the eyes of the sentry. Why? Just do what she says. The sentry's eyes start flashing again. It's going to help you guys understand the language. Oh. Okay. okay. Oh, you guys God. Stare. Damn it. You guys stare into it? Oh. Yes. Right. You, can, you can feel now like... Helmer can hear us talking about his puffy nipples. <laughs> <laughs> as, as you're... <laughs> as you can feel this kind of like heat in your brain as as like you can feel these things being like quickly re re rewired. And it just starts... It sounds like gibberish at first and then you, you kind of come to being able to understand the language right as you hear Guntar say. <laughs> <laughs> now Helmer can hear us talk about his puffy nipples. Hey. Oh, they were talking hey, about you. He was talking you. about my puffy nipples. Shut up, just shut up. And you guys all realize that you're guys, speaking and can understand this language. Oh, this is fun. Oh, wow. Guys, let's stay on task. I'm here, hi. Uh, what What are you doing here? We the were told not beautiful, to. Beautiful, I mean the, uh, uh, the. What happened to the stone that was here? You gotta tell us who you are first. Hi, my name is Scorpica. Mm. Scorpica. Scorpica. I need to give her a different voice than not just Kurt. No, 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 yeah, Your no, no, voice no. is very familiar. Yes. <laughs> very nice. Um, my name is Scorpica. Ooh. I, Ooh. You, you're all in very 
This is a lot of danger. This place is very dangerous. How did you How did you get here? We almost <sighs> left this. Do we need to leave now? Because we've been wanting to leave, but we. we I should, think we should definitely stay. The we things attacked get, us when we tried to leave. Well, it's just trying to protect you. Oh uh, yeah. I'm it sure. can't talk to us about the far ones. Yes. Have you been cur- contacted by the far ones? I can't. We haven't been contacted by anyone. The far ones. Let, okay. We need to make this quick because we need to get out of here soon. But I need to know what happened to the stone that was in this. It melted it's in her now. It melted in both. Their no, faces. it's in her. It's in her. Well, it's in her. No, no. The first no, one the was the first in one you. And in you. Okay. The second the, one is the, now in her. And she second. doesn't know about the other one, so let's not. The second oh, one? Nothing. Uh, it was a pink one. I'm getting the, used to the, the language. Basement. I'm getting used to the language. I messed up. I'm we, so sorry. We can talk about this, but you all need to come with me. I need to take you to the city. Wait. There's a city? Hold on. Have you been told that you slay? You slay. Friday, what are you doing? Occasionally, yes. <laughs> Friday. Just letting you know that you this slay. This doesn't matter. Stop. It always matters. Just, um, what does it mean to, be to slay? I'm telling her she slays. You need to be told if you slay. Maybe her love language isn't words of affirmation. Are you Friday. saying she's violent? Who's in the Who's in the city? <laughs> there are scholars there that can help us with this problem. There's things here that you you don't fully comprehend. Who do I, you slay? Clearly. We were sent a message not to trust the far ones, and we don't know if you're a far one or not. I am definitely not one of the far can ones. We I am Scorpica. I am of the Procadians. Do you slay the far ones? I believe that you're well, a Procadian. Can you speak the language? It's but. complicated. Uh, Someone explain. What's Kurt they, doing right they now? They are a little bit unslayable. He's just like staring at this woman. But what um, is his what is his expression? Uh aw. Okay. Yeah. Fair. Um what's the plan to get out of here? It seems so dangerous getting out. There were drones. There were as soon as we tried to leave the sentry. I can deactivate the sentry. The sentry is under my command. Okay. Oh. Okay, then why don't you huh. do that? It was okay. her it was her voice in the sentry. Okay. That's accurate. Accurate, yeah. Don't need to roll a dis- uh, inside check for that. I just know. You're acting strange. No, no, I'm not. He has a massive boner. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh my God! So Good big. Time. I, I wish we hadn't just... said that. I didn't Whoa. want to look, and now I looked, and now I saw it, oh and now smart. I see it. Oh, on, please, everyone, don't embarrass me right now. Just okay? put your shield <laughs> down. Uh, uh, when she's like, she's like, we can take my ship, and you can see there's like this like massive like uh, sleek sort of flying contraption that's like parked out in front of this temple now. Mm. Did you know we were here? Did you the, get signaled? The when you must have triggered something. The sentry was alarmed, and I was sent a oh, message. You well, I want to say so happy to meet you, Diana Varco. Oh. Diana Varco. Yes. 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 We should go. <gasps> <gasps> Are you the niece? Of Julius. You know Julius? You're his niece? Yes. Yes. Why are you here? We should go. I need to know why you are here. Guys, we're wrapping it up. I'm Guntar the Great. Angie. Guntar the Great. Angus. What are your names? Yes. Augie. I'm Resnan. Resnan. Helmer. Helmer. Guntar. My name is Friday. I telekinesis that door up for so long, and I was trying to get in touch with you, your voice in the thing, and you were no help. So, Scorpica, welcome, I guess, late. <laughs> telekinesis. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. You're giving a lot I'm of info to Scorpica. And that's Kurt. Do you know Kurt already? I don't know who this is Kurt. Yeah. He's not worth knowing. He sucks. And we, uh, and Augie, Augie. He's like, oh, Angie, I'm here. Angus. He's just like exhausted and like wiping the sweat We're going to leave, face. but I need you to take responsibility for yourself. Do you want to come with us? Yes. Okay. Yes, hey, do you know if there are come. any other like little guns or anything around here? We only found one. I have one and I pull uh, we, it out of my bag and show her. There's some more in my ship and there's some more in the city. But All right, let's, let's get on the ship. Uh, there was one here. It's probably not charged. Uh, oh, we'll fix it. Let's go. Okay. Okay. She's right. um, guys, uh, and then while we're going, do you guys trust her? Yes. <laughs> I love this question. Well, let's get on the ship. Yeah, so yeah I think let's get on the ship. Yeah, it's I mean, better than here. <laughs> she seems to have good stuff with her. We need to hurry because the, the others will be here and they won't like that you disturb this temple. Okay. The others are the far ones. The death singers. The what? Who? <gasps> she said the word, the word phrase she used was the death singers. Mm. Oh boy. They sound lovely. I like how we're all writing um, them down. <laughs> how big is the ship we all have? Oh, easily. Okay, great. Yeah. What type of ship are we talking? Like a spaceship? It looks like an airship of some kind. Cool. Hmm. Flying car. Um, over the jungle. Kurt, have you ever seen anything like this before? 
Kurt not no. in my wildest imagination. We're gonna stop asking Kurt questions. Hey, wait a minute. I'm Kurt has a boner too. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. <laughs> a technology boner. He just sits down. I just need a minute before we get on the ship. <laughs> uh, okay. So she's like, um, I'm gonna. We need to head to the Spire City. You might have seen it in the distance, but that's where my people live, and we can find out more about the, the you they said there was two gems in here uh, uh, something I, I don't know there what? were two gems good time what uh. she's beautiful <laughs> we only knew about the one that we was have a here lot to learn we suspected that there was a second one but we could never find it yeah it's in the there's thief's. usually oh. pairs of these things. in the thief's head you absorbed it i absorbed it and you absorbed it i uh, i must tell you the truth i absorbed it Let's go. Uh, and she kind of like uh, walks up to the ship. As she's walking up, there's this like hatch that's sort of like, like sort of Star Wars gate nice. opens down, <laughs> and you guys can like walk up into it. Um, mm. It's kind of it's not it's not huge, right? Okay. It's not like massively spacious, but it's not cramped either. Um, it's like uh, imagine like a uh, a D and D plane, fusel really? fuselage of a plane, kind of you know. Yeah, and there's like a cockpit area with like some controls and there's some seats along the sides. You can tell there's like a grating and then you can see below there's like a cargo storage area. And there's like some harpoons things and there's even like a little, um, it looks like a surfboard with like a handle kind of bars on it. That's I there. Like it. Yeah. Well, Wait, okay. <laughs> a surfboard with handles? Yeah. yeah, like a surfboard kind of thing with like handles on it. Is this her scooter? Um, that's what you see. Um, okay. Uh, and she's like, we need to get going because the Death Singers could be here any minute and they will not be happy that this temple was disrupted. Okay. Um, so uh, she basically sits down in this cockpit, like engages it, and this thing starts shotgun. to lift. Okay. Uh, you hop in the shotgun. Uh, I want to be an explorer too. Roll for that. And uh, he's. <laughs> you just lift me up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, do an initiative order to see who gets uh, shotgun. I want shotgun. <laughs> Let's all roll for shotgun. Okay. Just roll initiative. <laughs> Ugh, six, nine. Wait, oh, do we use modifiers? <laughs> if you're a proficient in, in initiative. Oh, absolutely. Oh, no. What did you get? Elmer. Uh, 22. Oh my god. Oh, oh, you're oh, you're, you're, you're oh, empty. Oh, I gotta <laughs> take this shotgun. You just beeline it and then just whoops it down right next to her. Uh, <laughs> I, I found the second little spot, so. <laughs> uh, Maybe I earned it. The ship takes the ship starts to lift, and it's the first thing you notice is that how quiet it is. Mm -hmm. It just like almost like a ghost, just like flights. flights. We've Ooh. never been on anything that flies. I don't we've never seen something that flies, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that there are. I don't think that there are flying crafts. <laughs> yeah, this is like we're terrified right now. <laughs> yeah, and I wasn't gonna say anything before, but the drones like really like broke my brain. And I was like, hold on a second, right, hey, what? Yeah, isn't it the twenties? Like, I yeah. guess things fly, and we are now some of those things. When was flight? Invented? Uh, we, the... That's a lot to get. We don't have time for that. Yeah, yeah. Different right. timelines, yeah. you know, and you know, technological development is not necessarily linear. <laughs> is Amelia Earhart uh, on this spacecraft with us? Oh man. Uh, oh, Nicole is more reefs. <laughs> <laughs> that's where she is. Uh, oh. That's sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Too soon. That is. It's a, a tragic, tragic accident. Yeah. Or um, is she just uh, she's still just shaking it? Uh, Maybe she's kicking it somewhere. She yeah. and Tupac just hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> As holograms. <laughs> she was done with the You know, that company made a hologram so. with me. <gasps> Sorry to brag, but it's true. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Anyway, moving on. Okay. We'll talk about my hologram we'll talk later. We'll talk more about that later. But, uh, <laughs> um, okay. But this thing this thing takes off. And so <laughs> you guys are, yeah, in floating in the sky oh. in this craft. Uh, what? Is, what? How? This, this ship's called an Aether Clipper. The what? It's called an Aether Clipper. Okay. Aether Clipper. Um, I'm a dwarf. Have you ever been? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, sounds familiar, but. Uh, yeah. It's more than that. Um, uh, so how? Well, catch me up. Where? How have you? How did you come here? Why were you in this temple? Well, you're Diana Barclay. You're related to Julius. Yes, and he is in the city. Well, it's complicated. Mm. Okay. Most things are. Uh, yes, I am related to him, uh, and that's kind of how we got here. We started using the blue algae as more of a 
form of energy in Where? our world that we were yes, getting Julius across the studying ocean. This. Yes. You're from Ikoria, then? Yes. What? We were on a ship that crashed. Yes. We're from where? It's a word you guys haven't heard before. Um, right. Yes. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, that, yeah. I had a yes with question mark behind it. Yes. Uh, maybe you, maybe it's what we decided to call your world. What does it mean? We taught the Julius about it. What does Aquaria mean? Our world is called, well, it was called Paradax. Now it's, we call it Terraclasp after the calamity, but. The calamity. Calamity. That's what we call the catastrophe. I don't know if you've seen, and you kind of like, you guys can see as the ship tilts a little bit. Yeah. And oh. probably feel a little queasy. Okay. Oh. And she kind of rolls the ship a little oh. bit. And you can see out the window. You can see from above those like rifts here yeah. that you oh. saw crossing. What caused the calamity? Uh, people delving into secrets that they had. They had good reason to try, but it was, it turned out to be a, a poor decision. People? Barcos? My, my people. Your people? Procadians. Oh. Mm. And wait, what is, and what is our world called again? We were calling it Acoria. Because? What does it mean? It's just the name Julius came up with. Oh, Julius comes up with the name, okay. How so long you've been Julius hanging been out with here? Julius? He's, he was here for quite a while. Was here? Yes, I'm, I'm afraid he's no longer, at well, least he's, he's here, but it's not really him anymore. He's not really here in the same way that we're all here right now. Like his head's like in a jar. That's what I was thinking. No. That's so interesting, That's Homer. so weird. Yeah, <laughs> he's more like a spirit now, and it's complicated. Oh my God, like Diana, are you, are you okay, Diana? Like he's dead? Physically. Mm, okay. Is he trapped in a pyramid, like in the nothing, what? never mind. In no. the what? The eighties TV show, Is Out of This World. Is that why he's not left? No. Is that why he stays <laughs> no. here? Is that why he's mm. been here this whole time? Can we physically? He can't, he can't physically transport back? Can we physically go back? There's a possibility, but I don't know. It's, it's, I know it's a lot. We, I just, I want us to get us somewhere safe before we get into all of this. Uh, because it is kind of, it can be a lot. Okay. And I should probably focus a little bit on where we're going. And you can tell like up ahead, there are like um, rocks, almost like rock floating? islands, just sort of floating what? up in the sky. Um, uh, is there anyone else on the ship that works with her or anything? Like any crew or it's, just her? It's just her on here. Just her? Yeah. And there's seats enough for all of you guys, including Kurt and Angus. Okay. Um, God, I wish Zeith was here. Oh my Me god, too. we love Scythe. <laughs> I want a snack. I want a snack so bad. <laughs> I have rations if anyone needs it. I want rations. I want a stress eat. And sure, I'll give you a ration. Thank you. Scorpio, who are you? I think it was her. In, in your uh, city. Yep. What role do you? I. And what's your last name? I don't have a last name. That was an unusual experience for me to encounter with. Uh, Julius, mm. uh, I am royalty. Royalty. Mm, oh, okay, so this is why I'm allowed. That's why I'm allowed to leave the city. Wow. Twins. Royalty right. as oh, in why you're uh, allowed you're to married? leave? Uh, I am. I'm not married. Okay. Significant other? No. Hi. Okay. Where did you just pick us up from? I, I was exploring around <laughs> other places, and then when I got the message, and I came straight here. But, but where oh, where goodness. are we? We don't know how we got here. Uh, this place is a world that was once called Paradax. And okay. We call it now, we call it Terraclasp, as it has been ripped asunder and sort of held together mm. by immense magical forces. Mm. Um, so how did you, how do you remember coming here? The way that I on remember a, it is like, it just boat? happened. We were on a boat on our world and then all of a sudden gravity just stopped working and then we landed Sh on the beach. The, we turned course, uh, then the course we were supposed to go. We must have hit a ley line of some sort that was just beyond our world and uh, no gravity and then bam, we're here on the shore. Was, did you come here intentionally looking for something? Julius. All of you? No. No. I was my Intentional? Own Are you crazy? We've been through hell. I'm looking for my parents, but no, I didn't. I'm always looking for my parents. We were just on this big ship, for me, doing was, our thing. Yeah, for me, it was like a 
like a strange turn. Some might say. Interesting way to put it. Man. Yeah, mm. I feel like an outsider, personally. Wow. Oh. Just hitting all the <sighs> points. Mm -hmm. so I may have gotten us here, uh, me with the help of Kurt, and um, but it was to take a big risk. You knew we were coming here. Not here, but I knew that Julius was in that direction, and that's where I was going for. I was going for Julius, what's, what's not another name? world. You, you mentioned uh, the reef area. What's yes, Clismo. Yes, that's it. That's you where we were headed. came through there intentionally. I didn't think we were going to come through. I thought we were just going to hang out at Calismo Reef. Did you know that this? I didn't know it was a gateway. Yeah. I really didn't. I, don't look at me anymore. Well, I for what one are you doing? really disappointing. You put us in a different dimension. Well, I for one am certainly happy that we were able to come across. If I your knew graces, we were going to go, <laughs> uh, Kutar, you're leaning on me. We just get it back in your seat. <laughs> okay, well, sorry, sorry. Just call it that I, I can. I got the seat. <laughs> I would never have brought us here if I thought that that's what was going to happen. I didn't think we would teleport to another world. It's just so wildly irresponsible. Oh, oh. And, well, uh, and honestly, like I'm a extremely devious criminal, and I'm just like I'm so annoyed. No, I'm sorry, I wouldn't what say was that? devious. Uh, devious criminal. <laughs> that's how we talk. It's kind of like how we describe it's ourselves. Slang. Don't it's worry slang about for it. Good people. Uh, give me a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the twenty. Uh, that is a uh, that's <laughs> that's an eight. Right. Great. She's kind of like you can, keep her, you can feel her eye on you for like kind of like a second before she kind of focuses back to the. He doesn't uh, look away. Okay. Oh God, great! You're really making a good impression. I'm glad you're in shotgun. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, I am what I am. <sighs> Papa I said. So, so am I. There was gems down there. There was two of them. You've absorbed them. What compelled you to do that? Bravery. Curiosity. It was glowing. Boredom. We really didn't have a choice. It felt like the only way to do something. We wanted to get out of there. We thought maybe there would be a way to escape well, through it. I said it that we just it? wait until. I said that my message played and it said just it wait. It didn't sound like it was talking to us. It seemed like it was just like, wait, wait, here's it, what it, it you do. It felt abrasive. Maybe, maybe make kinder sound. It's my voice. It wasn't it's in a, a language, voice. in a language that most of us understood. So Hello. you can't be too upset with us for not. Well, there is You're... a linguistic protocol as you stare into the lights. Oh, it. we should have stared into the lights. I think it was the messenger that was a little bit more intimidating because it yes. was a uh, robot, and so With we thought that it that would came out attack it? us. So we thought we should immediately leave, even though it was <laughs> uh, guided by a, a most it's a angelic robot. Everyone loves voice. Robot. Uh, Everyone does. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, there were a lot of mixed messages drones. coming at us. It feels drones. I didn't even know what a drone was, but I then knew it was a drone and that didn't even sound very kind. Scorpica, you have no idea how lucky you are that you scooped us up because I think that we're like the kind of group that could help you shore up your message, you know, reaching out to people, getting a message out. I'm really good at that. Her bedside manner is uh, incredible. Well, this this message hasn't been activated in a long time. Mm. and. Maybe Honestly, right. most of the time, if I encounter people who are messing around these temples, they're not as forthcoming and as welcoming and as friendly as you all. So oh, thank you. I, you. I, I, I would prefer to keep it a little bit more aggressive. Mm, okay. Keep it aggressive. All right. What does that mean? Oh, the, keep the, the message century. aggressive. Oh, the okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you meant like the vibe. I'm like, yeah, I'm, like, I'm like, like again, us. I'm getting mixed messages. I'm oh. sorry to slow things down a little bit here, Scorpica. It's just that you met us and immediately were on board with us, immediately invited us into your royal spaceship. And now you're like kind of coming at us like, oh, how, why'd you do this? I think she and said we were very you... friendly. Well, you're you friendly seem, you seem like you're in need and I just, I, there's information that I think we I should exchange. I have a connection. Okay. So she what? stuffs shell. What should Stuff we shell. be prepared for once we get into the city? People will be surprised to see more people that don't look like us here. And what mm. can we hide? Should, can we can we land well, somewhere they're, they're, a secret? It, we don't need to keep it a secret. Just be aware that you might get some strange looks. Um, uh, can you style us so that we fit in? Uh, a makeover. I don't know that that's. Makeover montage? I'm like average height for my people. Hmm. Whoa. Um, 
Guntar, again, you're just like right over my shoulder. Actually, maybe you can pass. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is a, okay. But what? They, they're, they're, they're generally very welcoming. They understand, they, they're worldly people. This isn't the first time this happened. Your, is it father, grandfather? Uh, uncle. Uncle, yes. Uh, your uncle has been here. As yes, well as and I, I, is and there a chance to see him as soon as we land? As well as, as who? Well as who? Well, uh, uh, Captain Alaric. Who's Captain Alaric? Alaric? He was the captain of the ship that your uncle sailed in on. He's also survived. Oh. Is he a spirit too? He, no, he's not. But oh. he is very fond of them. Um, what did they? What do you? Plot. What do you mean by that? What do you all call our where we came from again? Ecoria. Uh, Ecoria. So they're aware of Ecoria. They know. They've seen what we look like before. So when we get there, they'll just be like, oh, those are foreigners from Akoria, yeah? Yes, but some of them, because of what happened, and I'm sorry, Diana, with Julius, they're not very, they're not always, some of them can be suspicious of Akorians. Oh. What did Julius do? <sighs> the far ones promise much. They dangle very enticing promises in front of people. And sometimes people will bite and they will follow that. And not even, not for nefarious reasons, but they can be misled. And he was strong and he fought it for a long time. And I feel like he still fights it now, but he was compelled. To do what? You, well, I remember, Julius, you have the concept of ghosts on your world. Yes. 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 Spirits. Yes. <sighs> There's so much to explain. Uh, you can tell she's like, just grabs, kind of like grips the, the handles here and she's like, kind of like rubbing her forehead. She's like, he is not able to cross over fully. <gasps> so he's sort in of stuck in an in-between uh, limbo state but he's not always himself and he's hard to contact. He's still here, but not in a physical sense. And that is part of the problem mm. of this place. Okay. Thank you. It's like out of this world from the 80s sitcom. Diana kind of shuts down for a moment <laughs> and Diana kind of just stays, so... has, a, has me time by Diana. Mm. So you, you're single. <laughs> I am, uh, do you mean, what do you mean? Nothing, just. He's asking if you have a partner. Uh, it's just, it's just me. I'm, all, I'm the only one that's allowed a to A romantic leave. partner? Oh, sure, plenty. Oh, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Oh. Guitar, <laughs> sounding good for you. Okay, wow. Mm. Uh, I don't have that much time. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, tell us about it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but she continues flying her. You guys want to take a minute to like check out the ship or anything? Or yeah, what, definitely looking yeah. around. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of tired of shotgun. This got a little heavy up here. We, okay, I'll sit there. Can we charge this? <laughs> can we charge one of the guns? And can we all have uh, some uh, proper uh, equipment to protect ourselves? Um, yeah, I will say that she gives. Uh, there's a. She's like, oh, there's there's a, a little armory cabinet, and there's like kind of a a wall mounted cabinet shelf thing that opens up and there's like four more of those things in there. Um, they are these, who had the first one? Uh, Kurt Diana. and now Diana. 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 Oh. Um, so you got that. I think I have some more of these in here somewhere. Um, oh. I said four of them, right? Yes. Solar blaster, baby. Let's go. I think I only printed out two. So I'll say, hold on. I got other stuff in here. I'll say there's another blaster and then there's two rifles. So which ones do you guys want? I want a blaster. I want a rifle. Blaster. Thanks. A rifle. She's just giving them out. They're just there, yeah. She's like, in case in case anything happens on the way. I'll take a blaster. Um, Sweet. And she also explains, oh, you found one of our, who has the lens? I do. She's like, you have one of these, our cane spectrometer. Cool. Um, Explains how it works to you. Uh, you can use your action to speak the command word and cast the reveal magic spell. Casting the spell extends one mana from the arcane spectometer. Cool. 
Yeah. Huh. Um, uh, I hope you don't need to use these, but sometimes this world can be dangerous. Thank you, Scorpica. Thank you, Scorpica. Thank you, Scorpica. You're welcome, all uh, of you. What does Kurt make of all this stuff? What's he doing? Kurt's just like staring at this ship, like looking at the insides of it. Like you guys can almost like see his like mind trying to like rebuild this uh, <laughs> out of materials back home. Oh. Um. Uh, I go over to Scorpica and I'm like, uh, we're closer than we are to Kurt. I'm not going to say more than that, but. You we are none? close. No, I'm pointing to my the us These at the people. party. Yeah. Okay. We can't speak for Kurt as well as give we me, can the others. Give me a self-check just to see how <laughs> if he hears this or not. Uh, actually, this is great. Uh, Nineteen. Yeah, it's enough. Yeah, he's he's totally occupied, like standing yeah. the ship. <laughs> uh, so yeah, continue. Uh, I would be quicker to tell us full truths than. Others. Do you not trust this man? Not entirely. Give me a persuasion check. Uh, 15. 15? Okay. Um, yeah, she's like, all right. Yeah, we can't trust everyone. Mm. Do you think he's been, do you think he's been corrupted by the far ones? I don't know how he could have been because I don't know how they communicate. Is there a way that he, that they, we don't know who they are. They will try to reach out through uh, old artifacts from their culture. What's an example? That mine, that, that ruin you were in, that was an old, uh, we call them the elders. We distrust. Am I overhearing this? Probably, because you're in the front, right? Yeah, I'm right. yeah you are. In the we, front, right? You mean the, like when the rock was saying to kill people? You had a rock that was saying to kill people? the rock. What? Do we want to talk about the rock? I so what? I trust her. Okay. Helmer. Oh God. What? What? Show her the rock. What were, what were you doing just now in the ship? Uh, I was uh like looking at the new rifle I got. Okay. And I was like inspecting the like. <laughs> cool. He was playing it like a yeah. bass. Helmer. <laughs> what? Show her the rock that you have. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> God. <laughs> Man, Boner leads the way. <laughs> Love conquers all. <laughs> uh, she's like, oh, yes, this is a, this is a, where did this come from? Forget. Uh, well, Kurt, well, Kurt knows where it came from. Yeah, Kurt. So this that we recovered that from wreckage in the Calismo reefs. And I have associates back home. We were hoping to use it to establish communication back home. Uh, and she's like, yes, this is, that is possible. It can do that if you know how to use it. Uh, but it is also a conduit for the far ones. Oh. They talked to me. They told me. Uh, what did they promise you? Uh, they said, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. <laughs> and they said, kill, kill, kill everyone. It was they lots said, of. Nine to a hundred things at one time. It was lots of voices. Yep. None of it. What happens when you hold it? Uh, the same thing. Hmm. But which of you again have ingested the gems, the liquid? I would be very careful holding anything that was an elder artifact if I were the two of you. Why? The voices that you will hear will promise you things and they will be more pronounced the more of these you have absorbed and they become more and more convincing hmm is it bad that when i ingested it it like got an awareness of like my deepest hopes and dreams it's an invulnerability that i can exploit okay well i'm not worried about mine because mine was real mine was real i wanted to be uh, more intelligent. I wanted to be wiser, and I immediately was. I am smarter now, so there's no reason to doubt that. Well, that's how they, I, Freddie. That's how they do it. They they can't promise you something and deliver nothing. They have to give you something, little pieces that you keep following. Huh. Okay. Wow. Okay. 
I'm wise enough to accept this. <laughs> Just be very careful. Okay. Whatever gifts they have lent you, use them wisely. You think that these think things will go away? Everything goes away eventually. Oh, I know it. Have you ever heard of someone named Rosicus? Who? You're not in this room. Oh, I'm not? <laughs> I'm making sure of it. Doesn't sound... I don't think so. Okay, thank you. Who's Rosicus? It's, um... Uh, Resonant? I don't really want to talk about it right now. Okay. Boundaries. <laughs> wow! Thank you. Yes, I'm learning. And I say to Scor uh, Scorpica, like, he's really good with women. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Thanks for got it. <laughs> good at what? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Anything else you guys are doing on, while you're on the ship? Is it sort of Say, like I'm, I want to check out that surfboard. Okay. Um, A surfboard with handles. Give me, give me an investigation check on it. You got investigation it. or arcana, your choice. It's an investigation for me. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Here's what you learn. Whoa! A whole um, dang sheet. Damn. It just oh says surfboard on it. You gotta read it. <laughs> yes. Surfboard. Zephyr Scout, medium vehicle, airborne, unaligned. Armor class 12, hit points 30, speed <gasps> 80 feet. <laughs> cool. Um, it's got all these other scores. Uh, it's like a person. That's cool. Resistances, mm. solar powered lift. The Zephyr Scout can harness solar energy to achieve lift and propulsion. It has advantage on strength athletics checks. Uh, uh, interesting. Arcane thrusters, Zephyr Scout's propulsion system allows it to move with great agility. The Zephyr Scout can dash or disengage as a bonus action on each of its turns. Daring dive. Zephyr Scout can take a daring dive as a bonus action, descending up to 90 feet vertically without provoking opportunity attacks. Wow. How, um, Am I in the room with him? Is he fine? <laughs> is he looking at all Yeah, you guys are all in the same fuselage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Scorpia, what you doing with this thing? Sc Scorpica. Scorpica. <laughs> uh, that's in case we need to do repairs uh, uh, mid-flight or in case something requires... Uh, engagement outside the ship while in midair. How many people can fit on one of these? Uh, just one at a time. It oh. looks it looks pretty small. Okay. Yeah. How um how do you guys have like this much technology? Is this just like it seems so advanced to everything I've ever seen? Uh, well, yeah. I remember uh, well your uncle saying this too. We've been around for quite a bit. We're not from here. We're from a moon that no longer exists. I'm sorry. Thank you. What was that called? Regulus. Mm. Uh, it was destroyed by my people. By your, pe by your people? Yes. Not me. My ancestors. We fled that world. We came here. Built the city. Built a new life. And some of us were tempted by the lore of the Elder Ones. Where can we learn more about the Elder Ones? I would be careful to learn. I would be careful what you learn about them. Uh, Do you feel like it divides your city politically? <laughs> I, there are some places where it does. There are scholars in the, in the city we can speak to. If you all have been exposed to this and you've been pulled here and if you're related to Julius, this is all... Uh, and you're able to leave the city, which if you're willing, could be helpful to me. What do you mean, if we're able to leave the city? We have very strict rules in my people. Are we going to be have, subject to those rules? Once we get there? Because I don't like that. You'll be subject to, uh, you know, just the baselines of, of a city in, inside our people. But you'll be able to leave that. the city. Most people, most Procadians are not allowed to leave. No Procadians are can allowed to leave. Can we leave with your but permission, we though? You are not Procadians. You can leave the Spire. I am the okay. only one left of the royal line, so I am the only one that's allowed to leave. Oh. Are you a queen? Are you a, a princess, I think, is the translation. Hmm. Princess. Um, 
Well, I seek the truth even if it serves no one and I want to learn about the elders. So if there is a way to learn it, I would be happy to be brave enough to do it. Well, it seems you might have already done that. Uh, By ingesting the jewel? Yeah, actually. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, Guntar, she's a princess. I don't know if you heard that. Oh, sorry, I was staring at her eyes. What? She's a princess. <laughs> and Ooh. she's the only one left of the royal line. Oh. And she can leave the city. Nobody else can, except we will be able to, because, because we, we are, are not, not no Procadians. Procadians. We are not Procadians. Mm, okay. Oh, well, I, I, I'm excited to get you back there, and I'm sure you're exhausted. How long have you been out in the wilderness? What is this, day three for us? Yeah, how long have we been out here? I actually don't remember. I think it's probably like four or five days. It feels like forever, but <laughs> yeah. a little under a week. Ah. <sighs> Well, there's... And there's more of us. Some of us have been left back there. Yeah. There's, there's a cat yet. and mm-hmm. a chef. There's two that we really like. Yeah. And then a bunch of others that kind of suck. On the ship. Oh, they just, they, like your people, have been divided by what's real and what's not, and what's a good idea and what might not be a good idea. The wreckage of the ship, it's still teetering on the top of a rock. Cliff. Although, oh. probably it might have we, fallen. We actually should try and help those people if it's in any... If there's any way to do that. Uh, how many people are we talking? 20? 30? Yeah, 30? Mm. It, was, yeah. it was probably close to 50. 50? 50. 50. But probably 30 we want to save at yeah. this point. Yeah. Who knows? The kids, I mean. The ki- yeah, they're, they're They were annoying. When we return to the spire, I, I will I will set Send up message. a message. That's something I can't fit that many people on, on this ship, but we could deploy some sentries to collect people and bring them back to the spire for safety. I'm sorry, nobody's asked this question yet, I don't think. Can you help us get home? There is Some of a us way. may want to stay here. Oh, Kuntar, please. It's a nice let, place. Let theirs at least get a word out okay. before you start horning out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this, this expression. Out. Uh, horning we, out. There are some theories, they are risky, which is why you're uncle never returned mm. but we can talk more about it when we speak to the scholars yes I, we can i know a little bit but they're so it's not a quick thing unfortunately no okay it's not even a short thing i don't want to give you false hope it wouldn't be the worst thing just Kuntar, please so, like surprisingly you're never going to meet your parents if you don't get back to at least the dimension that they're from oh well mm. I feel like I'm home already. Oh my god. <laughs> he fell so hard so fast. <laughs> it's um, incredible. Uh, as the ship is flying through here, um, there's a moment where there's like a womp, 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 like kind of an alarm that kind of like uh, happens on the. Okay. Was, that, was that weird? What did I do? That was Perfect. a funny no, little, it's it's a little it's kooky. It sounds like, it sounds like it's like a, a little sad duck or something. It's okay. like, very similar noise to the sentry grind, uh, transforming. Okay, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. It happens. Um, so there's an alarm that sounds like something uh, that happens. <laughs> and she's like, oh, uh, oh, no, we have a problem. Um, this isn't good. Uh, and she's also like, this is very bad timing, because uh, you can see up ahead. Um, you're who's who's still in the shotgun? I am. Guitar. So guitar up ahead. You can see there are like wisps of like energy, sort yeah. of like forming in the sky ahead. Um, they're not like darkening skies or anything like that, but there's just like swirls of energy, energy like wisps. kind of bluish energy wisps uh, swirling. And she's like, if that's happening. Um, we might have an infestation, but I also need to navigate us through this storm. Infestation of? Uh, blightlings. Those are? They they feed on the, the circuit, the runic circuitry of, of these devices, and they could damage the ship. So I either need... How can oh, we help? No. Does, it, does one of you want... Uh, I'll take this effort, Scout. Did you, uh, <laughs> is that what you're going to say? Did you read the you read the manual? He's, he's already driving. Uh, okay. Oh my he's, god. It, he's rev the engine. <laughs> um, okay. I can. Help if you want, please. if you feel up to that, we can send you out there and just take care of these things, and I'll try to navigate us through the storm. Is that what you were going to say? I was. Oh, cool. <laughs> Either I can go out there and deal with that, and someone else can fly the ship. Oh, maybe or... the connection's deeper over here. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. No, I'll take it. He's in love with the sure? bike. He's on love with the bike. We'll see. Okay. Um, 
Be so, safe, Elmer. Are you there's there's like a cargo cable and she's like, here, clip this on, and she like kind of takes this claw and it is like kind of claps around you. Okay. My soft skin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then she's like, just use it for safety. And it's kind of like, yeah, it's, it's like kind of like wrapping around you. Okay. Um, so you're, there's like a cable, like a cargo cable attached to you. And then you kind of step on this zebra scout. And as soon as you like start up, you just kind of whomp like back to the future hoverboard, <laughs> uh, kind of like rises up. And then she's like, all right, just do you know how to handle this thing? It's just like, uh, Oh, you don't have any. Yeah, what like would you even? Yeah, <laughs> what would you know? Is it like I, I think a big it's pretty. Ship? I think it's pretty intuitive. Just, just you'll figure it out. We don't have time. What? And she just kind of like opens the hatch and. It, Whoa! Oh my how god! Am I? Ah! It's not. It's not sucking you out or anything like that. But you can. You can decide to leave out of out of it. The air is not pulling you out. Okay, I don't know how else yes, to say that. Yes. Um, uh, Get off my plane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Uh, I do need everybody to roll initiative because this is kind of a tense situation. So, what's the music playing under it? Like Barracuda, like Heart Barracuda. Wow. Uh, okay. So score because like, uh, all right. Just just uh, try to try to maintain this uh, and see if you can deal with those blightlings um, before we get into this storm. Uh, so she's just flying the ship. Uh, Resin, are you doing? There's. Yeah, what could be, what can be done in this situation? There's, I guess, at the moment you're like approaching into the storm, so okay. you guys all kind of all have a moment to take some precautions against what could possibly happen. Is there any um, like stuff with the ship that I could be helping her with, or like arming or doing anything? Are there um, like yeah, guns from the ship that we can? I imagine there's like glass around us, right? So we're not trying to shoot through our glass, right? Yeah, you guys are inside like like a fuselage essentially, yeah. so you can't really like shoot through anything. Okay. Um, but you know, it could get rocky. There are some like things you could hold on to. All right, if there's yourselves. like a seatbelt or anything that I could hold on to to stay safe. Okay. Sure. You got that. And then. Um, also the same, but can we leave the pit door open? Maybe we can shoot from the back. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I I tie myself so that I can get there, and I take out my solar gun. Okay. Cool. And my solar gun's charged at this point. Yes? Yeah. You guys, they would all be charged now. Okay. Great. Cool. Um, uh. That was Anna Helmer, um, right? Yeah, you <laughs> feel. Do you, do you drive this thing out the hatch? Vroom, vroom, vroom. Okay, so you're holding on to the handles of this thing. It's like I picture it kind of like a Silver Surfer kind of surfboard, but it's all like one sleek piece. And am I standing? You're standing on it. Okay. So it's like a it's like a scooter. Yeah, it's like okay. a uh, one of those like, like a like a lime like, like a, a green lime goblin scooter. lime scooter that can fly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. But not as cute. You know, Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you. Uh, kind of zip out the back here. That cable kind of trails you, and you have like some uh, some leeway, some slack. But you kind of get a little handle on this control. Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty intuitive. Um, go ahead and give me a perception check. All right, fifteen. Uh, okay, fifteen. You see um, this uh, probably like somewhere between five and eight of these things. It's hard to tell because some of them are kind of like clustered together of these just like furry, like almost like a small dog or like a large cat size, like rodents oh. that are just like crawling on this thing. And you can see them kind of crawling on the, there's like, to explain the ship a little bit more too, there's like four kind of stabilizers to okay. one side. Okay. And they're kind of crawling all along that and on the hull and you can see them like slashing into it and like biting and like tearing oh, out some yeah. Oh, wow. gremlins from the toilet. Yeah, zone. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> they're very gremlin-like. Okay. Um, uh, and they have like kind of like weird little uh, small wings and like this like black fur and like green eyes that kind of like look at, some of them like look up at you and clock you. Yeah. Um, what do you do? Um, <laughs> well, I've got my solar rifle. Okay. Can I use it while I do this? Yeah. Because there's no weapons built into this. No, there's not. Okay. Let's give this thing a try. Okay. So. And you're you're also just to remind you, you're like hundreds, probably thousands of feet up in the air. Yeah. Good. I'm noticing that. So yeah. keep that in mind that you're uh -huh. like thousands of feet up in the air. Yeah, and I'm using and I'm holding thing, one hand, holding a gun from another planet. Yeah, you can probably like. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Like uh, level it on there a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. No pressure. 
Okay, it's a two-handed <laughs> rifle. Maybe I should have taken the handgun. <laughs> <laughs> this is scary. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, very scary. Uh, and so I'm going to roll just a dex. Oh, are you making an attack? Yeah, I'm going to shoot shoot yeah. one with Are you this. proficient with rifles? Well, I'm proficient with the blunderbuss. I think... I think you actually would It's a medium be, range. This would not be proficient, yeah. Okay. Because it's... Uh, or what's the burden on it? In the top right. On this, three. Yeah. Then you are proficient, yeah. Oh, excellent. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to do that with the proficiency bonus too. Yeah. Okay, cool. 12. Uh, 12, you almost hit it. Like you you had the kind of like shot lined in and you pulled the, the trigger and you this like blast of like radiant energy just like boom, almost like a big laser gun. Wow. Just like hits the, like the edge of the ship. <laughs> um, and... Uh, it was gonna hit one of these creatures and it just kinda like, it just moved it out of the way just last second. Oh. Um, um, so did he hit the ship? Meanwhile, inside you guys here are like, whoa, tell him not to shoot the ship, the shields aren't functioning. Um, the shields aren't functioning. Oh God. Oh fuck. It, se it seems like they took out the, sh these things took out the ship. So go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> oh, I do get damage. Well, not on the creature. Oh. Seven. Seven? Okay. That's good. Uh, you you can tell that the the radiant damage kind of like dissipates and doesn't seem to like do much damage in here. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, uh, Friday. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm like freaking out. Like <laughs> Helmer, like be like okay, it's okay, but be more careful next time. Um, I I I'm trying to think of like what I could possibly be doing to help. I can't think of anything. Uh, I'm yeah. I'm totally blanking on like what I could possibly do to support this. Push your uh, magic. Push Kurt out of the plane. Push, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> on my she, she list. That's it. on my Can list. Can use telekinesis to take out the, to remove? That. That's I too much. Ran, yeah, I used so much of it. Um, uh, Jesus. You could Eldritch Blast. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's what. Thank you. Thank okay. you. That's I mean, your cantrip, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What is it called? Eldritch, Eldritch Blast. Blast. Explain. I would like to Eldritch Ooh. if I if I can reach like out of the hatch or out of a window or something. Eldritch Blast at one of the fuzzy guys. Okay. I'll say it's it's a weird angle and you're kind yeah. of hanging on the edge here. Okay. Um. So I could like hold on to you and help. Oh, thank you, Resonant. Okay. Yeah. Teamwork. Uh, so Resonant's sort of holding on to you as you're kind of like leaning out a little bit. There's <laughs> one that you can see in your sights because they're kind of all over the thing now. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you can you can take a shot. Okay, okay. So I'm going to do it. I send an Eldritch Blast at one of the fuzzy guys. Okay. So for that, I don't think you've done this before. So do an attack. It's an attack roll. It's a spell okay. attack roll. It's 17. 17. That hits. So go ahead and roll damage. Uh, four. Four points of damage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. You hit it perfectly. Yeah. There's like a blast of like, well, describe what it what you cast out your blast look like. Oh my god. I feel horrible, you guys, because I'm vegan and I, <laughs> I don't like war, but if I have to achieve greatness, I will explode this little guy and he he first it's like a, like an electric charge kind of and then it's sort of um like it's like if you can imagine a, um <laughs> imagine like a like a coconut covered like donut hole <laughs> from like dunkin donuts sure yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 and then imagine if that exploded and it's just like little flurries of like fuzz it's like yeah. oh, what's no. the magic well, that happens when you do it that's the question yeah yeah the magic that like, happens. How does it look like coming out of you? Somehow? Oh yeah, yeah. It's um, yeah. It's like an electric charge. It's like um, it's almost like lightning, kind of, but like lightning light. Like it's uh, <laughs> sorry, like <laughs> kind of like taser vibes. Okay. That's cool. what it looks. It's like yeah. Yeah. taser. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So those, those those shoot out of your your hands. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Hit this thing. Um, it, cool. It doesn't explode. It's not enough to kill it. Uh, but it does, it does like <laughs> screech. I'm relieved. Um, um, does it cool. look like critters? Yes. Okay. Uh, like, I picture like if you took critters and like made like a like a big cat out of it and yes. gave it wings. That's what I'm picturing. Um, okay. Cool. cool. There's four of them. Was greatness? That's one of your downfalls. Or? It's just. It, it's just. It, 
I will kill in order to achieve greatness. Like I, is that, I do is that a driver it. Driver downfall. A driver downfall. No, no, actually. Uh, okay. Sorry. Uh, drive. Uh, we must do whatever we can to achieve greatness. Yeah, that's there. It is. Okay, drive. 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 Yeah. It means you're gonna cause the hard time. What, what, cool. Thank um, you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Guntar. I go to the back to shoot the rifle that I have. Okay. It's the only long range thing I have, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, okay. So. It's, like it's going to be hard because in order to lean out, mm-hmm. you are you need to hold on to something, but you need to use uh, two hands for the rifle. Unless okay. you can brace it on something or mm. somebody can help you. Okay. You could use um, my blaster instead. Mm. Do you think you could hold on? Yeah, I guess I... Use... I probably just couldn't hold you <laughs> in the use same way. The blaster. Yeah, because I can't... Everything has... Ev- everything's outside of the ship, right? So there's no real mm-hmm. close range thing I can do. Then... I don't know what it, what way I could support right now. I think... You guys could hot swap weapons if you want. Okay. We'll swap weapons, and then I'll shoot the blaster. So you just hang on the edge of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go for mm-hmm. it. Um, so make the attack roll. You are proficient with this because you have the warrior thing. So you're yeah. Oh sweet. But yeah, you would too. Great. Doesn't clock on that. All right. Fourteen. Uh, plus stuff, right? No. What? 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 Which... Plus your dex, plus your proficiency. So at least it's seventeen. Oh, okay. Seventeen. Okay, that hits. Great. Um, go ahead and roll damage. Two. Cool. Uh, first time using this weapon, but you do hit it, and there's just like this spark of. Uh, actually, was your is your dexterity have any bonus? No. Okay, yeah. So it's just two points of radiant damage huh. as this thing just kind of like lights up for a moment and just like ah, hisses. Right. Um, okay. Thank um, you, resonant. Mm-hmm. Before Scorpicus turn, I gotta roll one of these. No, I just. Okay. I can't wait. Um, okay. As as she's kind of driving through, uh, you guys all feel this. Um, she's kind of piloting the ship. You guys all feel this like lack of pressure. Like even like there's been like a little bit of gravity, you know, just normal gravity that you feel. There's like this weird eerie calm that sort of comes over you as you're for this moment um, where everything just kind of gets really still and quiet. What's um, all of your checks for this round. You'll have advantage on attack rolls and saving throws. Cool. All, all creatures. Just keep that in mind. All right. Uh, as oh, as like them. whatever happens here just feels like this moment of peace. Um, oh. Uh, as Scorpio goes turn, she's like, that's not going to last. Just hang on. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. uh, okay. And she's piloting, so <laughs> can she do any stuff here? Let's see. Just resident. Um, <laughs> all right. So I have my um, blaster back, and I'm going to follow. Uh, these uh, these guys moves and and hold on and then shoot out. Um, okay. Uh, and mm-hmm. see what mm-hmm. happens. Okay. And um, am I able to add this to stuff or? Um, yeah. Okay. It's not to damage, right? It's to the roll itself. It's to the roll, yeah. Okay. Let's see if I need it. Which uh, twelve. You can add it to any d twenty roll. Okay. That's I probably it. don't need it. Um. Uh. 20, 20, 20. Um. Sixteen. A 16 hits. Okay, cool. And let's <clears throat> see how much it hits it for. Were you uh, targeting the same one that Gunther? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll that mess that up someone guys. else, whichever one is also nearby. Uh, let's see if there was one available, actually. Actually, yeah, that's the only one that you guys would have been able to see. Okay, so I go for him. Okay. And uh, seven damage. Okay, scrap how you destroy this thing. Uh, nice. um, it's like a donut from Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then the coconut, coconut flakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Whoa. Uh, yeah. So consistent. <laughs> Just coconut explosion. That's what it looks like, guys. Just yeah, telling you what I, I see. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> that is now canon. Uh, good job. Um, uh, anything else? Um, I like blow it off and I look really cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Diana. And char- charismatic. Too. <laughs> yeah. Scorpica, is there any weak spots in these critters? They're pretty weak. They're just very uh, aggressive. <laughs> Should I hit it in a certain spot? I just, just hit it. Just wants you to hit it. Just hit it. Just hit it. 
Piss right. it in. Yeah, Diana, you don't need to speak to Scorpica in such a harsh tone, okay? <laughs> no, it's like, hey, don't talk to her like that. Just like, it's Whoa. not you. I'm just a little vengeful at the moment. My <laughs> uncle is a ghost. It's not what I fucking wanted. It's a bad day. I need to kill something, which is out of sorts, but that's what I want. How long is this rope that I'm tied to? Uh, it's probably 100 feet. Can I get out of the plane and hang from it? I mean, so Helmer is on uh, a board that can kind of float a little bit. Yeah. You'll just be Tom Cruise out there, okay? Just like holding on to nothing. If he wants to. I kind of want to. Yeah, I'll put it around my waist and then <laughs> can add some support to whatever you attach it to. I can hold it. Great. All right, guys. <laughs> I want out the plane with my solar blaster. Wow. So describe to me what you're, <laughs> so you're, you're tying the rope around yourself? The rope I tied around myself. And let's we'll assume that it's super secure that you were doing. I tied it for you. Yes. Yeah, yes. Whatever. And you, you just. Dresden looks just... in my eyes and she knows what I want. She, I want to kill. It's the first time anyone has ever seen that in me. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I'm like, wow. You're yeah. Kind of um, hot. <laughs> wow. So you run. Get that just lady like... boner down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you just run full force out the back of the ship and jump out. No, I'm like, guys. I'll I'll call up if I need you to bring me back in, but I, I'm going out to get a better shot. So are you kind of climbing on the outside of the ship then? Um, yes, at, from the back, like the okay. the thing's open, and I've gone up and okay. I've I've climbed, but I still am tied. So the the I, rope I, is for security, not necessarily to hang to get the shot. Actually, no, it's to hang to get the shot. That's what I thought. That's what I want. So you're dangling, you're like just dang fly, dangle me like out. dangle me like 15 feet. All right, that's okay. what I want. Got it. Yep. Um, I get to push her. Great. Was, is that in line with any of your drives or downfalls? Because it feels epic. Uh, yeah. Um, our actions, not our intentions, determine who we are. Okay. <laughs> I, or um, um, is that regardless it? of the resources at my disposal, I never believe I can defeat the enemies in a fair fight. Yeah, no, this doesn't feel like that. This no, feels like this, this is... is not what your intentions were. And now you're doing this. Yeah. Um, okay. Great. Um, um, and I also want to imbue my weapon as my cantrip. Okay. It's my solar power guy. And I find the one that I got a good shot on. I can give you my blaster if you need it. I have a solar blaster. I'll right. take another. I don't care. Yeah, because right. you don't need to hold on to anything. So you can yeah, shoot it's right two ways. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to update this because... <laughs> yeah, this <is> awesome. <laughs> we need fan art of that. I'll give you my gun. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to update this because I think that this would make sense anyway. So it's the way it was written before was only close range weapons, but fuck it. Uh, I'll let it work for long range because that's dope. So, Great. Uh, describe how you <laughs> like pour, force your will into, or you, you know, imbue Chibans. your will and your intention into this. Uh, weapon. What does that look like? Oh, imbue my will into the okay into the weapon. That's what magic is. It's like intention. Right? Absolutely. Um, it is going to be a cathartic emotional release, Matt. Um, it's going to. <laughs> I have a lot of rage. I have a lot of frustration. I have come a long way. I, um, I I'm I'm breaking, and so I am. Uh, there's a lot that needs to come out. So it's a it's a lot of rage yeah. that is going to be in the gun and yeah. whatever I blast, and I I am. Uh, but I'm like still sound. I still know what I need to do. And so it's going to be aimed. Cool. It's going to be aimed very well. So you jump out of the ship with this uh, blaster. Yep. Uh, tied to this rope, kind of holding onto it, drop out. And you can see there's a couple, like there's like two or three on the bottom yeah. of the ship. Yeah. Um, I'm under the ship. So and I have to make sure not to get the ship. And and I just have kinda, to get them in the things back. Things kind of slow down as you're just like, oh, I only, I only need one you. at a time. Oh, I have two. I have two. No, you. You only have one blaster. <laughs> well, yeah, what just I happened was... I gave was... one to her. Because oh, okay. she doesn't need to hold on to anything to shoot. So you're just falling in the sky. <laughs> yeah. Too. Yep. Cool. We are going to... Yeah. It's over, man. Fan art. It's over. <laughs> Stat. It's over. Okay, it's over. Man. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make the attack roll. <laughs> it's epic. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's just one of them, though. Roll the other. Okay. What was it? You don't want to know. Was it a one? It was a one, and so I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna add my bonus to uh, eight. Well, the one's a one's gonna miss no matter what. Right, but yeah. what if? Oh, but it, I thought it was the best of two. No, so no, it's two at once because it's two guns. Oh, yeah. okay. So one's gonna miss. But Great. that was that was true. What it was? Eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. Plus so uh, seven 15. plus eight. Fifteen. And then can I add my die? Well, Fifteen hits, so you don't need to. You don't need okay, to. great. Yeah. All right. Woo. Um, one, one, one so shot hit. the first time you shoot, just kind of like, and it just does. It seems like the gun was jammed or something. Like there's just like a flash of light where you're like, ah! just, I and feel I like start. 
unfortunately really funny because <laughs> you're like, ah, I'm just so angry, it's gonna be epic, and you're just like, pew. <laughs> but, but the second one, no. it's true. Okay, um, great. But, but so, can we still cheer for her from the ship? Like, yeah. it's like, you got it, girl. Like, you got it. Thank you, Friday. Don't cheer. Don't cheer. Don't cheer. Don't cheer. Don't cheer. Don't cheer. <laughs> Diana, what are you doing out here? <laughs> just, uh, I got yeah. plans, man. Go ahead and roll damage from that. Uh, great. That one to hit, though. It's a big right. adventure for us today. <laughs> yeah, zero. A lot. a lot of firsts. That's a ten. Oh, that's a ten. Oh, I got a ten. That's max damage. Great. Uh, describe how you destroy turn one of these. You, you turn one of these things into uh, donut dust. Uh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Diana, dry. Diana, run, what is it? Diana runs on Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She shoots it from behind. It's getting up in there. She shoots it in the butt, actually, like from oh, like the nice. butt, and it, like goes nice. through <laughs> the yeah. cat, through the butt, like the butthole of the cat. So it didn't see me. I had a clear shot. It doesn't know. Maybe the others know now. But like, it lost its grip. It almost like there. It's internal damage that I don't know if its brain's still working, but it's too, it's done. It's, dead. it's done. Wow. It's, and it, it spirals down behind us. And oh, how shit. did your hair look during this? <sighs> I let the fish tail out, fish and now it's this beautiful, Ooh. lush wave. It, like, the fish tail came out what, when you shot it? Yes. Wow. Nice. It shot back, and my hair <laughs> went back. That's and amazing. And all of the braid yeah. came out. Oh, that's so cool. Beautiful. And that then cool. I went, ah! <laughs> Well, and then I reloaded. Oh, Elmer, your turn. Okay. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. You, you don't need to reload these things. They just reload after they spend an hour in the sunlight. Oh. Oh. So oh. Do I oh. Anything? They still expend them. Oh, okay. Got yeah. it. So, so, okay. All right. I'm going to give another go at the rifle. So we okay. have two left? Uh, there's four left. What? So there were six total. Yeah. How long till we land? Oh my there god! Four. I thought there were oh. four. The spire is still far in the distance, and you guys are in the. You can tell that those those swirling like uh, magic Whisps. things are getting a little bit stronger. Wait, were we still closer. in that like weird silent? Mm, okay. Yeah. All right. Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah. So actually, re-roll that one. Oh yeah. Because you would have had advantage. Yeah. Okay. Good roll a t twenty nice. again. Oh, best nice. of luck. Best of luck. Eleven. Uh, yeah, it just misses. Oh, so, but it didn't. It didn't jam. Oh, so that wait, but you could add your thing to it. Eleven plus yes. You want to add it? Yes. Do okay. it. Okay. Uh, roll it. Roll oh. it. <laughs> Get a roll. Don't roll a one. Four. Yay. Yeah. So go ahead and roll damage for the second one. I mean, it's a, I see it. It's, it's, it's a, a three. three. It's a three. And then you. Plus your. Your adding dex. B your my dexterity. Wisdom. Oh, wisdom. 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 Sorry. wisdom. wisdom. sorry. Uh, so three plus four. Seven. A seven. Actually, mm, you it would if you imbued it. Only one of them would be. This is annoying. I'm sorry, but only one of them would be imbued. The other one would not be. So the first one would be using your wisdom. The other one would just be using your dex, like a normal weapon. Oh. So I'll say two. it hits. So go ahead. Dex is plus two then. Yeah. So five points of damage. Five points of damage. Cool. Good. Sorry. Still great. A lot of stuff to keep. Uh, Yay! Uh, it's fine. Uh, Helmer. I'm thirsty. You're going for attack. Yeah, but that also that was the first one already blew up the, that one. So did those second hit another the one? The ones there's did so it hit a uh, one? there was one that was kind of on the back. There's some that are on the bottom, and you're fighting some of the ones that are on the top. I meant the one that Diana just shot with her left. Her, yeah, her other shot. Yeah, has that one? Did even... it take did it take the damage that she just did? Yeah, yeah. Five. Besides the one that blew up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just make sure. How did it How did it act getting shot? It screeched. <laughs> like how? You know how it's screeched. No. Uh, it's screeched. Uh, <laughs> I haven't heard it. Ah! Nice. Okay. Great. All right. So now I'm back into rifle zone. I liked that. Okay. Um, I'm picking whichever one is closest and available. They're all the same, yeah. Okay. Dang. You have advantage because you're still in that okay. column. Oh my gosh. Piss. Yeah, a lot of it. Um, <laughs> you guys are wearing yellow. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's right. And, that, and piss sometimes okay. is yellow. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ten. <laughs> ten. 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 Yeah. Doesn't hit. So <laughs> another blast of radiant energy, but uh, okay. doesn't hit. Okay. Um, then I hit the. Ship. It does hit the ship. So go ahead and roll. Oh man! That. Oh no! Oh. Sorry again. <laughs> Get me on that board. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nine. Nine? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, it kind of dissipates. Doesn't seem to be enough to damage this thing. Um, but uh, you know, like she's like, hey, keep it so careful out yeah, there. This thing's really hard to do at the same time as a rifle. <laughs> uh, anything else? Do you have any bonus actions? Um, I think I do, but what is it? I don't know. No? I don't know if you do. Um, I, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Pretty. All right, uh, qu quick question. Yeah. Uh, how many of these critters are out there still? I mean, we call it an infestation, Four. but um, there's... You can't see any from where you are, Four, uh, but the whole table would, you know, above table, there's at least three up on the top where uh, that uh, Helmer's dealing with. Okay. And there's one more on the bottom that Diana was dealing with. Se that damaged a little. Second yeah. above table question. Uh, Mage hand, could that do anything here? Maybe. Is that a, sort of a stretch? It, it is kind of, usually the, the, the limit is like five pounds. I feel like these things probably weigh more than that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, the only thing, all right, I got two options here. I could Eldritch Blast again, or is there any way, can I like will myself to like, cl like climb on the ship or, or like uh, maybe the top is probably the best. Just be on it and and and. Well, so to Eldritch Blast, you would need a target. You, there's nothing that you can see you right now. You can't see anything, so then I um, guess I gotta climb. <laughs> are you just like free climbing this thing? <laughs> I would love. You are to... thousands of feet up in the air. I know, but and this is a very smooth surface. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna fall off the spaceship. It's not worth it. It's not worth you it. You have so much to live for. It's not worth it. I have so much to live for. Um, you have a crystal in your head. Can a crystal she message in my these head. things? Yeah, 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 actually. You know what I... No, I don't have enough. I don't have enough mana for it. Um, Just message is cantrip. Message is a cantrip, yeah. Well, the message for what sure. What I would love to do is like weird, like the weird is it's yeah, a spell, but I don't have enough. have enough for that, so yeah. I'll say that for another day. Um, all right, I'll just I'll send, <laughs> I'll send a message. I'm gonna send a message to these critters, one critter. Okay. And the message is um, <laughs> is yeah yeah. The message is this. Um, the the critter next to you. Or the other critter, like, is a spaceship. <laughs> Look at the critter. When you <laughs> when you reach out to try to connect to these things, <laughs> yeah. Minds, yeah, you again reach out and there's like nothing there. They like, don't it, it just, understand. There's a mind there, but it can't understand mm. language. Anyway, it just Even that way. though I know pandemonium language now, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. know Procadian. Well, I'm gonna I, say it to them in Procadian. It doesn't. They, they're they they the critters. Yeah. yeah. The monsters. I feel like that. <laughs> all right, all right. I tried and I failed. But yeah, you, you try. You you learn something about the world. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, cool. Uh, go ahead, uh, Guitar. Okay. Um, Just a reminder that we are still holding up uh, Diana on her. Am I holding her? Or you're holding. We both were. We both were. Is that how? Yeah. Okay. okay. So I'm holding. Okay. Um, you could tie. Sorry, it's your turn. Shut tie up. you to something. Yeah. I will. Could Guntar survive going on top of the ship? Doing his, doing <laughs> Could this? the ship survive were, Guntar were getting the, on top? You were probably the best suited to be able to climb out here, but it's going to be really hard. Okay. Like, it's like Tom <laughs> Cruise shit. You know, okay. like, yeah. That's what we're here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Guntar is going to do that. Uh -huh. He's going to go on top of the ship so that he can use his large knife to. Okay. Stab his oh face. Oh, my <laughs> God. We, we're tying a rope so, on him, too, now, right? Well. <laughs> there's how you got there's there was a lot of rope. There's the cable that's attached to uh Helmer on the Zephyr Scout. Okay. You're attached to a rope that I guess you're holding now. <laughs> would you guys rig it somehow? So yeah, yeah, yeah. we could rig it. Um do you guys have other rope? I have rope. Okay. Then <laughs> how are you how are you securing it? Do I have rope? Or are you just going out free hand? Maybe I don't have rope. I don't have rope. Does anyone else have rope? I mean I have rope, but I don't know but if we're use, using right? hers. Because yeah, you, you have rope? We were using your rope, right? Yep. Yeah. Right. So, so I, I still have, have my rope. Okay. Yeah. Here you go. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. So I go I tie myself and I go on top, like start climbing the top of the ship. So you're like tied to one of the seats or something uh -huh. as like an anchor. Okay. 
and then uh, go ahead and you still have advantage because this, this calm is still yeah, happening. that's why I want to use this moment. <laughs> so go ahead and give me an athletics check with advantage. Great. See. Okay, that was a seven, but let's see if I can do that. 16. 16 plus. Plus my uh, plus plus 10, expertise. Yeah. Um, so yeah, plus 10. Yeah, so 26. 26. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. You, nice. you are able to kind of get over there. Like, how are you picturing him climbing? Like, do, are, do he, has a, fingers, he has a knife like... in his teeth and he's climbing, <laughs> climbing oh, over, yeah. getting in close range to these things. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> you're like up here, like trying to get this like gun, like just keep missing. And then you just see like Gudar's like climb out on the outside of the ship. What the hell? <laughs> uh, go ahead. Gudar, go back inside. You are, you are technically like, I guess prone because you're down here. Yeah. So uh, your attack will normally have disadvantage from yeah, but here, it's now, but it's a straight roll. Straight roll, yeah. Yeah. Great. Straight roll. Here we go. Great. You got 23. Yeah, that hits. Wow. Go ahead and roll damage. My God. Five. Total? Yeah, four. one Okay. Plus four. Yeah. Uh, you just kind of barely catch this thing, yeah. but it does sort of like jam into it. Right. Um, oh, like a limb? Uh, yeah. Like a foot? But also you notice that as soon as it happens, it just, it kind of like goes invisible. <gasps> like you're, Whoa. you're, you stab into it and then it just whoop, goes invisible. Uh, um, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I blew that one's butt off. Yeah. Um, it didn't it see me coming. I didn't roll for these things too. I, I just had them as a... Uh, other kinds of complications. Wow. Oh man! Invisible. invisible cat monsters. Um, okay, that's yeah. If you, I, I think you can only make one attack because your other hand is holding on. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, I also I did this because I never backed down from a fight, even if there's no chance of winning, <laughs> which is my downfall. Also, <laughs> we've got a uh, potential partnership of press. Serpico steering the ship. Uh, Serpico. Serpico. <laughs> I love how not. Serpico. <laughs> I, love I don't that. even know why I bother naming characters. <laughs> uh, we get this flasher of hearing the new name. I love it. Mm-hmm. Augie Kirk. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Lucky Kirk and Serpica is so good. <laughs> what, 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 did they call, what did they call Daz? Like Razzle or something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hellman. Mm-hmm. Hellman. Um, okay, so uh, as, as you're kind of like speeding through here on the Aether Clipper, um, you guys see just this like floating uh, rock, like one of his islands, just like shifts like right in front of her. And wow. she has to kind of like, oh, she's like, oh, you guys, whoever's in the cockpit still can be like, you hear it's like, oh shit. Um, uh, I got to make a next area check with her. Um, let's see what the DC is going to be. Okay. Wait, so there's like mountains floating at us? Mm-hmm. Kind of like asteroids. Um, oh, ho, ho, ho. So good. she did not succeed. Oh, oh. shit. Um, oh my God. Uh, okay. So let's see. <laughs> Um, let me roll some damage. It's a here really real quick. big day. It's <laughs> a really big day. Intense. You die. Uh, I die. You got a crystal in your head. You brought you back. <laughs> I turned onto a war path. Good that was amazing. Um, oh, yeah. That That's the awesome. biggest highlight. A- <laughs> a wink. Uh, I just suck. I'm sorry. The chat. The chat. <laughs> the chat guys. Think of the chat. <laughs> okay. So she tries to, like, uh, move the ship out of the way uh, in time and this thing is moving super fast and it's huge and it rocks the ship. <gasps> I need everybody to make a dexterity saving throw. Dang. Oh my god. Mine's 15. Mine's not 20. Okay. Nice. Plus three. Okay. Mine's 10. Mine's <gasps> 2. Oh. Mine's no. 8. Okay. Oh my uh, gosh. So you guys, you're able to just like kind of use the, the momentum of like the cable. Can I go? <laughs> okay, Try I was, again. I am, I am attached to the same cable. Yeah. If, if that affects anything. Yeah. Um, but they're just, there's no ground or anything. So when, you, when the thing gets shifted, you just kind of get pulled with it and you're fine. And the the sky, you're like starting to get a better handle on maneuvering it. Okay. And I'll say even, it, it just kind of gives you like a better shower. You can see more of these things. Um, Good. Uh, you were inside inside and i'm just like ah. yeah, you just kind of get thrown <laughs> and you just kind of fall down on the ground you're, you're, so you're prone right now okay okay um, you two also get knocked prone 
Um, but I'm in. I'm on top of the ship. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna need you to do another thing in a second. Uh, so when you uh, you were inside the ship, right? Um, yes, I was. Okay. In, I was so you just kind of get knocked to the ground. You just mm-hmm. have to stand back up to get your agency again. Okay. Um, but since you're on the outside of the ship, you kind of get knocked prone, like kind of thrown a little yeah. bit. So I need you to make um, either give me a strength saving throw. Oh, great. Because I think this is more like catch yourself from holding on. Um, oh god. I got a five. Oh god. I'm plus have four. To save him. Nine. Nine. Yeah. I'm gonna you have get to save knocked him. from the ship, and you just get you get like oh no, from that jolt, to you get him. knocked, and you try to grab on, and just you can't find purchase, and you just go sliding off the ship. <gasps> you're in free fall right now. Uh, oh <laughs> god! But you're attached to a rope. You are attached to a rope. You are attached to a rope. I attached myself to a rope. Yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> shit! I thought you didn't. Oh my god! Um, but you're not. You're not holding on to the ship anymore. Uh, okay. Like, uh, um, the so ship. Oh, the oh, ship oh, now. The ship like lurches like. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> so big. Um, how, how many minutes have gone by? This it's been insane. like it's been twelve seconds since, <laughs> since you guys kind of flew into the storm. Um, so crazy. Um, okay. The, Where's Kurt? Uh, he's yeah. just holding on for dear life. He's holding on to Angus. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, he might actually. I'll maybe throw him he in could there. maybe yeah, help throw us. him in there. Because there's there's things he could probably do in the situation. Dead yeah, weight. Help Get him off the plane. Bit. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> he's got a lot of powers that he doesn't like to use. He does. He has not a lot of powers. You guys are more powerful than him now. Um, I'll keep him up. Okay, so. Uh, these things kind of just keep gnawing at the ship, just like ripping at the ring of surgery. Oh, 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 no. Cut out. Um, Cut it out. Your turn. Oh, it's my turn? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm prone, but that's fine, right? Or like, sorry. You just need to stand up. I just need to stand up, okay. Yeah, um, okay, uh, I'm gonna go back out and try and blast, oh wait, can you throw my gun back up to me? <laughs> Probably yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you have your other gun, right? Your gun, the rifle? No, don't you? Oh yeah, I could use mine. Sure, I'll use my um, what is it called? Flintlock. I don't have the card for it, but yes, the rusty old flintlock. Yeah, the the flintlock. Um, and try and aim for whichever one is nearby. That one. I I got a lucky lucky bastard. Oh yeah, a lucky bastard. Yeah, there is one that is in view now as they're kind of scrolling around. Cool. Okay, ten. Uh, ten points of damage or ten to hit? Ten to hit. Uh, ten does does not hit. What do you use this? Mm. Oh, yeah. Wait, let me see. Uh, 13? Uh, mm-hmm. 13 just hits. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, and then what is the damage? 22. Thank you for reminding me of that. And then let me give you this back. And the damage is... Wait. Uh, eight, nine, 10. 10 points with the flintlock? Oh. But, well, it's a 1d10 and I got an 8. And okay. then I add 2. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, you blast one of these things, uh, and it gets destroyed by some alien weapon it's never experienced. Love it. Uh, oh so yeah. <laughs> a musket. Donuts. Oh, that's wow. funny. I was yeah. like, alien. Uh, yeah. It's a flintlock. <laughs> I've never seen a flintlock. I'm gonna look that up. Um, it's it. like an old, old time American yeah, flintlock. Um, okay, so that was your turn, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, nice. Diana. Nice. Pirate. All right. Dangling on the side of the ship. I have my two guns. I'm dangling. Yeah. I'm screaming. One of them <laughs> is using your wisdom. One of them is using just regular stuff. Right. Do I see a uh, perception check? Is there any, can I see any cat uh, boogers? Uh, uh, there's, you can see there's two on the underside of this thing. There's two under? Yeah. They, they went to the wrong side of the ship. Okay. Mm-hmm. We're going to shoot at them. Do it. Yeah. With, and one of them is going to be imbued weapon. Okay. Imbue. Great. Great. 14. 14 hits. So go ahead and roll damage. Great. <sighs> Two. Plus four. Right? Plus four, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, you destroy another one because it had already taken damage. That's right. I was right. like, wrong side. <laughs> um, there is, yeah, there's two more down here. So um, or there's there's one more down af- after that. So you want to you want to shoot with your offhand at that one? Yes. Okay. So that one, you don't add the wisdom, you add... Decks. Yeah. Nice. Nine plus two. Plus three. Plus three is 14. 14 is the same as you rolled before, so it hits. Motherfucker! So go roll, roll damage again. 
11. Okay, yeah. Just nice. one, like boom, boom, take them both out. Nice. Sweet. Wow. Well done. Just hanging out at the bottom of the ship, getting tossed around and just kind of swirl like, around and like pick them off as you go. Pull me up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, okay. Uh, uh, Helmer. Okay, we're trying again. <laughs> Helmer, stop shooting at the <laughs> Oh, I gotta try again. I'm gonna hit one of these things. <laughs> All right. My rage gives me aim. 16. 16 hits. Yeah. Nice. Eight. Eight points? Yeah. That's how many hit points they have. Uh, yeah. So you blast this, like one of the last ones there, uh, and just scatter of fur and like shadow stuff. Um, but there's an invisible one now. Uh, oh, yeah. All right, I forgot to turn that invisible. Yeah, you hit another one because there are ones that would still be crawling around until it. I took out four. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I took Sorry. out four on my own. Um, yeah, you take out, just blast it. Uh, mm. It's just an explosion of like fur and, and shadow stuff and poof, gone. Um, uh, when that happens, one of the ones that wasn't visible just sort of like becomes visible again and just like flutters away and scatters and a lot of them start to flat away. It's like they just mm. saw some of them being uh, destroyed here. So they, they start scattering. Um, I got uh, Anything else? Um, hey, this, this rifle actually works pretty good. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, yeah. Wait, there, there's no more left. They're all kind of flying away and scattering from the ship. Well, I can't do stunning strike then. Uh, well, the one you hit is dead. Yeah, so okay. Yeah. It wouldn't matter. Um, you really uh, wanted to do that. I always do. Yeah? Yeah. What does stunning strike do? Uh, it adds like a whole, messes them up for their next, like, rest their thing. Oh, no. Like, stunned. Oh, yeah. cool. Uh, Friday, inside the ship, you hear uh, Scorpio gonna be like, oh, they're, they're fleeing. The, sh the ship can, the shields can start repairing themselves. Uh, you just hear her say that, but what do you do on your turn? I, I think it's time for me to help my friends get back inside the ship if I can, okay. if that's cool. I'm and I'm it. cheering for them. I'm like, you go, Helmer. <laughs> you go, Varko. And, and is and Guntar still dangling? Is that what's happening? Mm -hmm. uh, dang, yeah, he's just, uh, he's attached to a rope, but he's not <laughs> holding on to anything. Okay, I think first I want to get my girl Diana back up because I think I can actually like help do that. Yes. Um, <laughs> what, 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 I, I just, all I really want to do is, you know, like rope it up. Like, I don't know what you call that. I'm like pulling the rope up back okay. onto the ship. Hoist. Hoist, um, thank you. What do I, ha what should, how do I get Give me this an athletics check just to see how it goes. Okay, not a very strong girl, but we're going to do, okay, 11 plus, mm -hmm. Negative one, Unless which gets ten, and then I want to roll this. Okay. So right now I'm at ten um, mm -hmm. plus five. Fifteen. Nice. All right. So you muster some strength. <gasps> <and just> start. <gasps> and you, you pull Diana. You feel yourself being like, Whoa, like kind of just like hoisted back in. <gasps> cool. And cool. you spend your turn just kind of like pulling Diana back in. Remember you, this, Marco. <laughs> Integrity, authenticity, genuineness. Oh, I, I will. And you remember when I <laughs> shot four hear, animals? <laughs> can you even hear language right now? Or are you just too angry? <laughs> I'm too mad. I'm mad. I wish there was more. I'm sad they flew away. I, I'm shooting into space. Space <laughs> where there is no one. Uh, okay, so yeah, you bring, you bring Get her back in. Cool. Oh, Gutar, you are still falling. There's a rope here. What do you do? Um, they, there's no more to, to attack. They're all kind of scattering. Okay, yeah. so we don't have. To, I don't have to put my attention toward that. Yeah. Um, so I just bring myself in by okay. like just pulling cool. myself toward. Damn. Uh, so brings just give himself me, back in. I mean, God. I give you that like, check. Just don't roll a one. <laughs> okay, great. Five. Yeah, you're good. So you're no problem. Just, yeah. just kind of like, it's like swimming. You just yeah. kind of like over and up. Just pull yourself back in. Um, Is Scorpica uh, impressed? Uh, she's watching the rug. Or the, the <laughs> she checks. She's, 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 she's like, oh no. Uh, she's, she's like, uh, we have bigger problems now um, as a couple things happen. So bigger? Me, what? Bigger? Oh, should I have stayed outside? <laughs> you can immediately um, jump out. <laughs> okay. So there's this huge, like, pff, like gust of, like, wind, this, like, magnetic mana wind as the whole shift kind of gets, like, lurched. Oh, oh. And she, you can tell she, like, uh, spins the controls and needs to make a dexterity. Uh, 
check. Is the door still open, or do we yeah. we close that? Yeah, it's open. Uh oh. Okay. Close it. um, still out there. You're cruising, man. <laughs> Maybe. <We'll see. laughs> you're cruising. Go through a mana cloud. Wow. Uh, what the heck? She succeeds, though. Oh uh, God! Way to go. Good job. Go. Yeah. So uh, she kind of like counters into that and like kind of like sails into it, and the ship kind of rides itself. You can tell this is kind of a rough area you guys are in. Mm. Um, and she's also like, "Help me! You should get inside." <laughs> We have, uh, we have something incoming. I don't know if you can hear it, just like roaring wind. I can't um, hear her? I would say there's probably speakers and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I, could also, I could also pull them in. Was that yeah. it? <laughs> but, uh, so you're outside. You just got pulled in. You just got pulled in. You guys are kind of at the edge there, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. All of you give me perception checks. Mm -hmm. oh. 21. Jeez. 21. 10. Yeah, or 22, sorry. Okay. No, 22, Seven. 10? Seven. Seven? Uh, 16. 16? Um, two. Okay. Oh, wait. So, uh, oh, wait, I forgot that I rolled differently now. Um, 12. 12. Okay, so uh, Guntar and Diana, both of you notice uh, three, like, like, the, the wingspans look like their wingspans are probably like 15 feet across. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> these like horrible, like flying beasts that uh, just sort of like descend here and kind of like fly at the ship. And you can see one like coming right after Helmer uh, out on the outside. <laughs> they have like this kind of like sleek kind of like hauntingness to their flight too. Is it like a stingray? Um, with like sharp claws. They look oh. like, um, uh, yeah, they have like sharp teeth. It would okay. kind of a, like a, it's not like a, a beak, beak, but it's like a long, almost a like snout? crocodile snout thing, but like okay. large, large teeth and like uh, giant wings and talons. And there's there's one Dragons. swooping in at Helmer, and there's two more kind of coming in behind it. Uh, Helmer's going, "Wow, Diana, that was so cool! The way you blew up those things. These solar rifles are really awesome. Wow, we're just having a lot of fun with these things. This is so cool." Hey, 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 Helmer! In inside, inside, buddy. We're going inside. Um, uh, let's see. Does Kurt do any? He can't. None of this is useful. Um, <laughs> of course. Uh, so it's resonant. Uh, you guys, you guys alert the rest of the group. Okay. Yeah. What should I do? Yeah. Hey, we gotta get him inside now. Okay. Uh, well, how do I help him? Is he making eye contact with any of us? Does he see us? Because the gate's still down, right, from the uh, ship? I, it sounds like you were saying, Diana, that was really cool, right? So you were probably looking at her. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to like, I mean, I was like, you know, oh out there just like kind of really chilly, like yeah. coming back. It's all happening right. super fast too. So yeah. Diana and Guitar, you just see that there's this like, this like shadow behind him. Get in quick. Okay, I mean, it's not my <laughs> turn, I'm just. Yeah. Um, that, that's what you what? Why is everyone at the okay, yes. cool. Do you shoot at the thing behind us? Uh, yes. Um, because the door's still open. Yeah. yeah, I'll shoot at the thing behind him. Okay. Um, the big, the big scary thing. Probably not. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think so. Eight. Eight. Uh, yeah. So you miss, and you you just see it looks hey! like Resident just like shoots at you. Hey, watch it! Yeah. What are you doing? Are you shooting I'm in. in. Uh, oh right, I shot the I shot the ship. So you guys want to hit me? That's not why. So, Diana, your turn. Oh, I'm oh, man, it's my turn. Okay. Um, uh, I also take a shot at the thing behind him. Okay. Um, and I but, but first I'm like, speed up. I yell that at him. Okay. Can he hear that? Sure, yeah. Okay. No. Or, or is there like a remote control for these things <laughs> behind behind you? What? Is there like a remote control from inside that we could bring him in on? Uh, oh, actually, oh yes. fuck yeah. Okay, yes. great. All right, I got a 19 <laughs> and then I imbued it with my cantrip. Okay. And it's coming from, I lost of my, the only person I had, I'm not losing Helmer either. So that's what's coming Ooh. through the gun. Wow. Um, and then He's how, still and does that hit? Yeah, still <laughs> that does hit. <laughs> okay, yeah. and then I, like, and now I'm checking damage. On yeah. On the like, wing creature lucky. closest to him, it is a okay. six. Okay. Plus. Plus. Four. Ten, Ten points, points damage. Right. damage. The damage does get the wisdom. Yeah. Run. Yeah. yeah. So that first shot, you just, uh, you're you're standing back on the. I'm back the on the now. ship. So you just like lean out and 
I'm, I'm holding thing. on to a pole behind me, and I was like, hey. And I'm spotting you, girl. Yeah. I, yeah, it's like, you do what you and need I, to do. I get it right, I get it right in behind the head. Not exactly cool. into the face, but like right behind it. Yeah, 10 points of damage. Uh, as like this radiant like energy just kind of like zaps this thing and it like yeah and you hear that now yeah, behind yeah. You. when when uh, he hears that he looks back he's like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> oh that's, yeah, that's scary I'm Go coming ahead. back <laughs> Do you, are you using your offhand too or just the one just the one oh yeah because you're you need to hang on okay yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you uh, so Helmer your turn. Okay, I'm like, it's <laughs> <laughs> making it like go a little putt putt faster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. It's um, fast. Okay, and so I, I would obviously that's my first intention. Okay. Um, does it, is there room for me to f- actually fight, or should I just Let's see if it gets? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's like right on you. So when you zip away from it, mm-hmm. oh, if if you move normally, it will. Get an attack of opportunity, but this thing has abilities. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, so let's I, I could uh, arcane thrust it. What does it say? Ooh. Uh, thrust it. Uh, the thrust. Zephyr Scout's Ooh. propulsion system allows it to move with great agility. The Zephyr Scout can dash or disengage as a bonus action on each of its turns. Dip and dash. So yeah, baby. you can you can use the disengage action as a bonus action here. Okay. Yeah. So the bonus action, in addition to my movement. Yeah. Originally. Okay. Disengage okay. is is basically it, it's not moving. He just disengage. stopped. He tunes it all out. <laughs> disengage is how you uh, you avoid an attack opportunity or an att- oh, okay. opportunity attack. Right? Okay. Great. Yeah. Uh, I'll do that. So you just like engage that and just kind of drop out at this thing uh, before it can attack you, mm-hmm. and then you come back into the ship. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're able to do that. Nice um, leap on Helmer. So, just, you saw you guys see him just like like swiftly maneuver this thing and just sort of like come back into the hatch in the back way ah. and dock. Oh no, 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 that was crazy. You guys were going to what were you thinking? Climbing up on top? That was wild. I did it uh for Scorpica. <laughs> you hear a lot of these things <laughs> land on the ship outside. Uh Friday, it's your turn. Oh brother. Oh <laughs> Lord. Three. Oh brother. Oh, Lord of mercy. Um I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to think here. Also, you can always use this. It's a very useful. Yeah. It's a very it's a very reliable weapon. All right. All right. So I'm gonna go if possible, I'm gonna like dip out of that hatch and I'm gonna try an Eldritch blast on one of these. What are we calling these croco flappies? Fifteen <laughs> foot wingspan. I don't think uh, croco they flappies. Been named yet. Cro- name. Croco Flappy. flappies. <laughs> Only available at Duncan. Croco <laughs> <laughs> flappies. So Eight twelve for nine ninety nine. <laughs> so I'm a- I get an eye line. Okay, you got to trust me on this. Okay. I'm holding you from behind. Yeah, like okay. I I'm little, but what I do is I take a step up onto like a seat. You know, it's like it's a ship, right? So there's seats. Yep. So I step up on a seat. I can look over top and I see these crazy it's, creatures. It's a, sorry, it's it's like more like a plane. So it's more not, like a plane. There's not like a way to like look over the edge, like a hull. Mm-hmm. You know, it's more like you have to kind of lean out the back. Out the back you're going out this hatch hatch okay 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 so i'm at that hatch and i'm i'm on there are seats back there too you know sure there there are (laughs) there's kind of like there's sort of like a galley kitchen back there i saw (laughs) (laughs) kind of like emergency like fold down seats for just in case anyway i found one and i step up on it and Mm -hmm. Above the hatch, I can I get an eye line on a Krakow Flappy. So I <laughs> Eldritch Blast. And if you recall, it's sort of like l- lightning, but lighter, than, like a little less intense than that. Okay. Going straight at it. I'll say that you're able to target it, but it has half cover. So the okay. AC is going to be a little higher, but go ahead and make the attack. Okay. I'm okay. holding her. Yep. Oof. <laughs> you rolled, what'd you roll? A four, a four. Your, and your charisma bonus. is four. And you would also add your proficiency. But I this. don't have proficiency in this. I have proficiency in performance. You do because it's, your, it's Eldritch Blast. So it's your spell attack. Oh, it's a spell mode. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so then yeah. what do I get to add to that? You would add plus three to it, which would be 11. 11. It still doesn't hit. But I was just to the math. Thank you, know, you for that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. 
Okay, uh, so you kind of arc out some like mind lightning at it, and it doesn't uh, seem to hit it. Um, hey, you! I lo- good go, girl. Thanks for the support, girl. <laughs> Look at that, uh, um, Guntar. I'm gonna go out again. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> you just get back in, and these things are gonna switch down. And you just, well, how do you, how do you go back out? I climb out <laughs> onto the top. Does he? Do you have like, <laughs> like a pick, like some kind of like? I'm just going full strength <laughs> outside has, again. It's best to just let him do what he wants to do. <laughs> okay. And awesome. I'm pissed. <laughs> so before, when you were climbing out there, there was all these like small like cat yeah. like creatures. Angry. Yeah, these things are like the size Huge. of horses. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm horses? out there. Horses. I heard Porsche. I was like, what yeah. a specific size. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> like my Porsche. Um, <laughs> my eyes turn. I, I start feeling very hot. Yes. My eyes turn red. What? And then I. Uh, Cast <gasps> the elemental fire. Ooh, okay. oh, yeah. Yes. Which which of the versions are you using? I'm gonna use hurt hurt moat, hurl moat, hurl moat. Yeah, hurl moat. Okay. At one of the. Can uh, you read me how that works? Yes. Well, first, I conjure a moat of elemental fire. The moat shed bright light, illuminating the area within close range. The oh, is that in general? That's what happens. Yeah. The spell ends if you dismiss it or if you cast it again. As part of your action, summoning this elemental fire, and on subsequent turns while you are concentrating on this spell, you can use your action to create any one of the following effects. I chose I chose hurl moat, which means I hurl a moat of fire at a creature or object within medium range. I make a spell attack against the target. On a hit, the target takes. 1d8 fire damage, a flammable object hit by this spell ignites if it isn't being oh. worn or carried. Cool. Oh. All right, so you're gonna, right, it's going to use your wisdom shit. to attack. Uh. Right. Um, so go ahead. Uh, Let's can any, go. Nobody can see you. Nobody can see oh, me. God. No one's going to witness this. <laughs> this is just a, a fun little secret. A thing that's happening to me, and I don't even know what's going on. I'm just like, <gasps> so you just get like super angry. And, like, He's just embarrassed that he fell in front of Serpico. Like <laughs> in front of Scorpica. <laughs> so you just like summon a ball of flame in your hand. Go uh-huh. ahead and throw it. Because he's never been embarrassed before. Uh, this this is is the the first first time. Okay. And then add your wisdom modifier, and then add your proficiency to it. Okay. Oh damn! I just got a seven. Seven? Yep. It goes wide, but <laughs> maybe you were just so surprised of like just summoning fire from nowhere. <laughs> it just and just like whiffs out. Um, Did can he bring the fire? Can he bring the fire back to him? Uh, no, I just can throw more. Oh, yeah. you just keep Flames, you can. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! yeah. Um, Great. Uh, oh, let's see. You smell smoke. <laughs> I, I don't think any of you were able to see that. You guys are okay. moving very very fast. This guy. <laughs> um, it goes back to women. Okay. Now let's see what happens with the storm. I just like saw out the window. It's just, whoo, this thing is going to find it. What is that fire come from? Oh, it's crazy. What if I don't either? All right. Uh, crazy. Okay. There are, uh, you're outside the ship, so you can kind of see this. You are kind of on the top. Yeah. But um, those of you who are kind of like looking out, you can just see like large pieces of the earth just get like ripped from the earth and just hurtle what? up towards the ship. It seems like it seems like they're just like they're just out of the mist below. Just like all of a sudden, there's just like a big chunk of land just like hurtling towards the sky. Are and, we like, falling? It's or it's falling at us up. It's falling up. up. Okay, yeah, great. At your, at your ship. And, I know what to do now. And she just kind of like whoop, like wheels the ship around. I got to make her make a dexterity saving throw, or a dexterity check for this natural 20. Wow. Um, oh, yeah, so you guys all feel this ship just like kind of like swerve out of the way. Uh, everybody's like holding on, but the ship doesn't take any damage. Nobody gets knocked around. Mm-hmm. But uh, she just whoop, maneuvers around this thing like lightning fast. Wow. Uh, what about the the... Oh, I guess the, the beast won't. They kind of they they're kind of on the ship, yeah. like they've clawed onto it. Shit. Um, Scorpica is like, uh, I'm gonna try something, uh, and um, uh, she kind of pulls a lever, and like these two like uh, arms kind of like come on the top of the ship. You can see, and I'm gonna do this now. Or sorry, it's just one. There's just one cannon. Uh, cannon. That hits. Um, I'll let you guys do this. Somebody roll 3d8. 
Who's rolling good today? D8. Well, I have one. Well, so you guys can each roll, like three of you can roll one D8 and we can add it up. If you okay. Can. I'll roll a D8. I got five. Five plus. I got six. Six? Eleven? Eight. Okay. Nice. Oh, nice. So, 19? Okay. Um, one of these, this like cannon sort of like uh, like emerges from the ship on top, swerves around and targets uh, one of these creatures, just blasts it with like this like arcane like force 19. and just poof, hits it. You This thing is like and screeches and then just gets like, like it, it like almost like the way you did where you got Close knocked away. loose, it just got knocked loose and like thrown away back behind the ship. Nice. You wow. have to like dodge out of the way for as it kind of like whips okay. past you. Um, so there's only two left now. Um, that was Scorpica's turn. Now it's these things. Uh, one of them's coming for you because you're right there. Great. Um, yeah. So um, it kind of like flies up for a second and then like dive bombs at you. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's see. That's going to be uh, 16 to hit. Oh, for me. Yeah. And so you don't have your shield right now. I don't. Oh, okay. Without my shield, I'm right now. It's fourteen. Okay. That's, okay. Yeah. Um. Oof. Uh, eight plus four. Can I use this die at any point? Uh, you can if you want to roll it and see if it. You want to roll it against me? Yeah. Okay. okay. What did I say? You uh, said sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Minus two. So 14? 14. That still hits you, I think. me, yep. yeah. <laughs> it was a good idea, though, but I'll take the dice. Uh, so that's going to be uh, 12 points of piercing damage. Okay. Oh. As, uh, he gets the damage? Good time to take it. Oh, yeah. Bloody. As this thing, like, flies towards you and just, like, bites into you. <gasps> Ouch! Um, so, um, I also need you to make a strength saving throw. Okay. Nine. Nine? Okay. Uh, it bites into you and it kind of like flips you over onto your back. Mm. Um, and then it's going to try to make a claw attack at you. That's bonus action. That's not going to hit. That's a two. So the claw just kind of like <laughs> slashes down into the ship Jesus. and misses you. And then um, all of the rest of you are inside the ship, right? Yeah. Um, so the other one kind of just like kind of comes down, uh, climbs down around the back and like around the edge, just kind of like making its way towards you. Near all. the hatch? Yeah. Um, and it doesn't make it all the way to the hatch, but you guys can see it. It's like, like it's next turn. It's going to try to crawl into this hatch. Yeah, it is. Um, oh, okay. Uh, is that good or bad? That seems bad, I would think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for you guys. Uh, <laughs> not for it. Um, uh, Kurt. Um, we throw him at the Does anybody want to move really quickly? I do. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me. You don't want it to be me. This you guys is, don't want yeah. it to be me. Kurt. Mm-hmm. Yep. What Kurt's asking us? Does this? anybody want to yep. move very quickly? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's going to make you very tired. Let's go. Let's go. I, I can only do it for one of you. Here I am. Okay, so he he uh, like uh, puts sand on your shoulder and you like mumble something okay. and Whoa. you can feel this like arcane energy, this like gravity, Kurt, sort of what? like speed you up and you feel a lot faster. I'm so over him. Oh he just cast arcane so agility, which is basically him. haste. Okay. Um, so let me explain what that means real quick. New stuff, ish. Uh, creature speed in- the creature speed increases by ten feet, and a jump distance is tripled until the spell ends. So ten minutes uh, while he's concentrating. Um, on each of your turns until the spell ends, you can take the dash action as a bonus action, which you can already do. But your speed is plus ten, and you can jump three times as far as you normally can. Okay. All right. You so ready, Resin? It's actually not haste. Sorry, I thought that's a different thing. It's like skirmisher. Um, so he does that to you, and it's now your turn. Okay, what? Help me help me understand. Like, what is a good use of that in this situation? I just run super fast to him. <laughs> That's all he's got. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, uh, you can move a lot like, faster. Uh, you can like, jump a lot further. Uh, and he's this thing is like already kind of making contact with the ship. Uh, the the flying thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of on the outside. Like, looks like it's trying to crawl into the hatch door. All right, back. well, I run right at it super fast. Okay. And then I stab it with my short sword. Okay. Go for it. Nice. Yeah. Um, 22. A 22 hits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I would hope so. Um, four, five, uh, six. Six points of damage. Mm-hmm. Are you going to use any kind of the, the mana strike? Yes. Okay. I don't know what 
I think you detonate. When you make an attack and hit, you can expend one mana to deal additional damage to the target. For each one mana you expend, you can roll up to 2d6 uh, to a total of 66 and add it to the damage of the attack. So I can add another d6 if I do one mana? If you expend one mana, you can add 2d6. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay. One. Six. So 13 points of damage total? Yeah. Okay. Nice. So you. So I ran super super fast. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kurt. And then I stab it. <laughs> this is like Sonic the Hedgehog sound. And you know what? Yeah. I jump. I jump too. Okay. I also jump. jump <laughs> so I there. jump and then I kind of come down it. Okay. Yeah, and then cool. you just kind of like when you jam the the sword in there, there's like a moment where you can like extend the mana into it. Yeah. And like sort of detonate like a gravity Whoa. explosion. That's exactly what I do. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, okay. Uh, Diana. Oh, shit. Okay. So one's gone. Two's yeah. gone. Or is there one left? How There's many two. are left? There's two. There's two left? One is like on top of Guntar attacking him. Okay. And, and I don't know if you guys would know about that. You could probably see it here. You know the Guntar climbed up there and you can hear like poof, poof, scrush, Okay, like, so we're hearing that on top yeah. of the ship. And where's the other one? Like right outside the door, like trying to call, climb in. And then Resin just ran out towards it and like stabbed it. And ended it. No, it's still Not alive. Not quite. It's still alive? Yeah. Shit. Uh, and uh, how are we doing with uh, this chunk of earth falling upward? Uh, it, it was kind of coming up in the air, uh-huh. and uh, Scorpica maneuvered around it. And it's not happening anymore. No, she's past it. Damn it! We're we're you guys are in like a storm where all this like crazy stuff is happening. Can I she's use? To fly through. Can I use this? The elemental earth. Yeah. Uh, to do what? I don't know. To knock, take a take a boulder and knock one of them out. Or knock uh, one of them down. Probably not. It's the cantrips. They're 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 useful, but they're not super powerful. And that thing's probably way past you now. You guys are moving very quickly. I know. God, my idea was cool, man. <laughs> I will. I will just be a, a good fucking yeah, nothing, sure shot. And we're anything. gonna fucking solar blast. That's true. You haven't done anything cool at all this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> Swinging I... off a rope with two <laughs> solar guns, <laughs> blasting them off. Oh, like, and your hair was amazing. Mm-hmm. My yeah. My hair. All right, we're going to solar blast this fucker right okay. uh, in the mouth. Do it. Yep, great. And I'm going to, uh, with intention, Just we're going to we're gonna uh, imbue the weapon. Okay. Is she still using one or two? Okay. Can I use two? Well, are you holding on? I guess you don't need to hold on. It's kind of, you can see it you're on the yeah, ship, right? Yeah, I'm, she's I'm pretty planted. much in the so, yeah, ship. You, you I'm going to be, yeah. Yeah. I'm not holding on to shit. Um, I'm holding on to my two solar blasters. And uh, I'm going to roll for one, <laughs> ten, and I imbued it with, uh, is that my uh, That's wisdom? Seven, 17 to hit. Yeah, so that hits. Okay, so that hits. That's 17, yep. And then uh, in the mouth, we'll, we'll find out. Go ahead and roll damage on that one. Is that 10? Okay, 10. plus uh, four. Plus four. Yeah. So 14, 14 points of damage. In the oh, mouth. Yeah. I shot it in the mouth. Yeah. Nice. yeah. I'm not fucking around anymore. Do the other one? Yep, yeah. let's do the other one. Yeah. She really damage. loves her uncle. <laughs> yeah. It's my whole identity, guys. I don't have one now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> 12. Uh, no proficiency bonus on that one, right? Proficiency, yes. No is. And dexterity. Okay. This is the second one. 15. 15. 15 hits. Do I kill this thing? Well, no, roll damage. damage. And that's my 10? Mm-hmm. Plus your dexterity modifier. Seven. Total? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's looking pretty hurt, but it's still it's still hanging out. These things are tough. Its jaw is unhinged, though. Yeah. It is, it's looking bloody it's now. Its jaw is like, ugh. It's just hanging. The jaw is still intact, but there's... there's <laughs> no, the that's bottom it, half is there. It uses that to attack, so it still has It that. has its claws, but its jaw is like... Right, right, like, 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 <laughs> like if it wants to attack it, it has to like to use its jaw. No, no, no. No, no, no. Really bad I shot it. Its jaw is unhinged. Its jaw becomes unhinged? <laughs> because I shot it. Because you shot it, and then it just... <laughs> It snaps it back in front of you guys. Oh, that's um, not. No. No, he doesn't. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Helmer, it's your turn. No, okay. it doesn't. Um, uh, I'm just, I'm going to use another, I'm going to use solar rifle again. Okay. And you're inside now too, so. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, so let's see. How... 17. 17 hits. Okay. Oh, yes. And... I will say Shoot it in the nipples. Yes. <laughs> um, Does it have nipples? What do they look like? What do the nipples look like? Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, but it looks like nipples. It looks like monster nipples on a monster beast. Monster. I know they would have nipples. These things feel reptilian to me. So, mm. it's eleven points of damage. Yeah. Okay. But I tell me if it's is it dead? It, not dead from that. I can roll one um, one d six per round as a hunter. Yeah. You should be doing that every time you hit. I know. Yeah. Uh, so we will do that. And that is where my... Script... You could also do that mana strike thing. Um, I'm already here. Okay. Also, <laughs> uh, I can stunning strike. You can. I'll do that. Okay. But... Oh, wait. So this is five points. Okay. Uh, what was your attack roll? Do you remember? It was... 17, I think. Yeah. Yeah. 17. Yeah. Okay, so I got to beat that. I got to beat a wisdom saving throw. As the monster? Yep. I rolled a natural 20. I'm sorry. <gasps> so it saves off the stunning effect, but you did it. It's looking So did I just half the damage that I was had earned? Oh. Yeah, we would have done stunning okay. strike then. Let's just say that then. Okay. Instead of you losing that for nothing. Okay. Uh, it, it's done a... It, it looks pretty, pretty hurt. Okay. Okay. Um... Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. This good. is the thing with homebrew rules. Is like I'm just so used to like regular D and D that yeah. I forget stuff. Um, uh, Friday. Okay. So what Friday tries to do because she just really wants to get in all the action. Small as she is, she is mighty. So she <laughs> runs with her stuff. She's got a shield and she's got her large knife. Don't forget it. She <laughs> she sort of slides on her knees like under the thing and like uses the shield to sit, like block herself and then takes her large knife and like stabs upward. Like this is the goal here. Pierces through the like croco mouth mm-hmm. yeah. trying to like make like a kebab like mm-hmm. like toothpick mm-hmm. through you know the sandwich that is croco mouth is that possible uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah let's see what happens Go okay <laughs> okay okay mm-hmm. that was a five <laughs> It's very fun to try. Um, <laughs> plus zero. <laughs> so we're going to go on ahead and call that a five. Yeah. So you run like, ah, and like go to slide and just like slide sideways and just get stuck under one of those chairs. Yeah. Okay, oh, cool. God. That was cute. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. Uh, good time. Okay. Um, so this thing's on top of me mm-hmm. and, you know, diving in. And then I, I'm still casting this spell. So I use a uh, bonfire, which. <laughs> okay. Bonfire makes it so that you create a bonfire on ground that you can see within medium range until the spell ends. The b- magic bonfire fills a five foot cube. Any creature in the bonfire space when you cast a spell must succeed a dexterity saving throw or take 1d8 fire damage. A creature must also make the saving throw when it moves into the bonfire space for the first time on a turn or ends its turn there. The bonfire ignites flammable objects in its area that aren't being worn or carried. If you create second bonfire using this spell, the first one goes out. Cool. So do I have to take a, make a dex throw? No, he's, five he's, feet? he's up on top of the ship. Okay. Yeah. okay. So you, are you trying to set it like right on top of you? Or yeah, like, just around me. So you'll also have to make the check or take the damage. I'll check. I'll but do you, the check. But you could also just do it like just outside. So well, wherever he, wherever it is, I'm trying to do. But it's okay. on top of me right now, right? Yeah. So let's say this. Just give me a wisdom check and beat a ten. And if you can beat a ten with that, you can target. So you're not targeting yourself. Got a five. Okay. I think I think in this moment with this stuff being kind of yeah. new, it just you just like ah, and yeah. like you just right on top of you. Okay. Great. So go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, okay. I mean your D20? DC. Yeah, your DC is going to be um, for this is. Uh, what's your what's your wisdom modifier? Uh, nothing. Zero. Okay, so it's an eleven. Okay, I have fifteen. Okay, so you succeeded. Great. <laughs> I failed. Great. So go ahead, give me roll a d eight. Why did I laugh when you said you failed? I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. You should laugh. You're the bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Seven. Seven points of damage. Oh bad. Um. So you Any just efficiency or no? No. Uh, you just ignite this like fire ah! and engulfs this thing. You kind of roll away uh, out of the, the flames, right. um, and it's uh, it's it's burning. Right. Um, that was awesome. Nice. What does it I sound like when it's burning? Had, yeah. Yeah. I can't do that. I can hear it, but I can't do it. Oh, great! Uh, so- and that's a, that, I can only do 
one thing. I can't use like my knife at that point. No, that's that's an action. Okay, that's an action. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, okay. There's uh, as as you guys are kind of moving forward here. There's like a a section of the storm you, you fly through where you could feel like the magnetic force of things just kind of pushing things unstably where it feels like anything that's not tied down or anything that's like flying through flying through the air could have really unpredictable movements. Mm. So what that so does that thing fly, fly out? No, it's it's smaller things. Oh, what okay. that translates to is that range attacks are going to have disadvantage for this round. Okay. Um, hmm. uh, so that's the storm. Uh, Scorpica is going to try that same thing again with the gravity cannon, um, but it's going to be a disadvantage. Um, yeah, that misses. Uh, so it just, <laughs> boom, boom, just kind of like whoops around in a crazy direction. Um, now it's these things. This thing's on fire. Um, <laughs> it's going to just like fly away and try to like flap. So okay. it does f- kind of come off of you. It leaves your threat in range, so you could make an attack of opportunity if you want. Great. Yes, I will. Okay. Twin. Natural 20. Yep. Uh, natural 20? <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll damage on that, but you're going to double Natural 20 the plus dice. my stuff, right? So yeah, plus 10, a natural 30. 20 always hits, right. and you do double damage. Sweet. So whatever your damage dice is, roll double that. Six. Okay. And then add your strength to it. Okay, Six. Maybe... Sorry. <laughs> Five. So 11 plus four. four. Yeah. Uh, 15, right? 15. Hell yeah. Is there any chance that we can see this? And here's the reason maybe why. <laughs> the cannon might have like a viewfinder of some kind and there's like a video village situation like in the, no, we well, can't see. I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna roll, if you get, you want high or low? Uh, I want high. There is a viewfinder. Okay. <laughs> only Scorbrenner can see it. Oh, wow. Sweet. How about that? That's kind of nice. nice. Hey, lucky <laughs> you. Someone's getting a show. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so this thing flies up, you attack it, and you seriously catch it. And it's still, it's like bloody. You like draw blood on it when it happens. Um, is, but, it, is it dead yet? Uh, no. <sighs> um, the one that's by you guys looks a lot worse than this one. Um, but this one does try to again, like fly down at you. Okay. Um, and it's gonna it's try to attack. You are prone, so this will be an advantage. Uh, that's a, uh, that's gonna hit 22. <gasps> um, this time it's with its claws. Oof. Uh, nine plus four. 13 points of uh, slashing damage. Oof. As the claw just kind of like slashes into you. Um, uh, but it didn't it didn't have enough room to do its pounce, so it just it just gets the claw attack. Okay. Um, take it just the claw. And then the other one does sort of like cl- climb into this space with you guys and just sort of yeah. like reels back its head oh and just my. like opens its like broken jaw. What's it sound like? Oh. <laughs> oh, like, well, what about it, like this? That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was sounding really real, at least. How'd you do that? Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wizard of Oz over here. I'm <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so you're inside the ship. The three of you are inside the ship. Turn you the hatch. I need all three of you to make constitution saving throws as this thing just like opens its jaw and like just like barfs out like a cloud of uh, poisonous gas. The three of us? Jesus. Yeah. Who? The four of you. Oh boy. 17. Success. 16. Success. Uh, 16. Success. Technically four, but also I have poison tolerance. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. So all right. that means you have damage on poison? Uh, half damage on poison, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, I think yes. That sounds right if you're saying it. <laughs> oh man, I rolled really shitty. That's good for you guys. Three, four, five, uh, and eight. Five and eight is 13. So you take seven, all of you take seven points of damage, including you, that's already halved. Okay. Um, me too. Wait, what? Yeah, every, every, you guys all took half damage okay. on a success, so you only take seven points of uh, poison damage. Jeez. And Friday, you're poison tolerant, so okay. you take seven. You would have taken thirteen. Okay. Um, wow, that's intense. Yeah, that's this thing just like, <sighs> like sprays acid at you guys, uh, or poison at you. Um, oh, I didn't roll for Kurt. <laughs> oh, what if he, Kurt dies he did right not now? Succeed? I don't think. No, he did. He's tough. 
<laughs> but he took some damage. Okay. But he was able to like, hey, you want to go fast? Hey, you want a cool magic thing when everyone's almost dead? Oh yeah, let's see if he, uh, he's, he can concentrate. He didn't take enough damage. Uh, Resident, your turn. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'm pretty close to this thing right now still, right? Um, uh, yeah, it's like right in front of you. All right, yeah, I'm gonna uh, use my use my short sword to try and, or I'll use my little gun to try and shoot it in the face. Okay. If you're using your gun, you just need to take a five foot step back so you can- Well, it's not gonna matter. I, got, I rolled a two. <laughs> okay. That sucks. Uh, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> just kind of like uh, arcs outside. I'm gonna um, <clears throat> just kind of dodge or like get out of the way a bit. Okay, do you have two weapons? I do. Because you could use your, you have a blaster and a footlock, right? Mm -hmm. You have an okay. offhand, you could take oh, a second yeah. shot. Try again. <clears throat> um, I got 12. Oh, just misses. All right. Yeah. I dodged out of the way. Uh, Diana. <laughs> well, we're going to use our last mana. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna magic blast this son okay, of a bitch. Okay, magic missile. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do it. Mm. Three, four plus three. One. There's two. Five. Nine. Nine plus three. Plus, plus three. three. Twelve. Twelve. That's looking so hurt. What? Nice. And I push it when I do <laughs> give it this. I push it towards the edge where it's uh, almost out of the plane. Well, I think when you when you hit uh, Carrington, he's just did like I a frail little guy, so it did throw him. But this thing, it just takes damage and poof, 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 as those mass missiles hit it. Um, yeah, it's not. There's certain, if, there's certain spells to push. People. It felt it. Yeah, it it hurt. Um, I don't know. I'm impressed, uh, Diana. So I erased else? that circle. Um, I think that's all you can do. Scorpica, any advice on these things? Get it off of the ship. <laughs> I can't stand Serpico. <laughs> uh, right. Helmer. Mm-hmm. Um. Blunderbussing. The one that's kind of in the hatch there? I can't, can I reach the other one that's? It's, so the one that's, there's one kind of in front of you guys, but it's kind of blocking the hatch. So you want to kill that one? Yeah, I would yeah. kill that one. Yeah, the one that's up, up on top with you I can't get to. Yeah. Yeah, so of course. Okay. Yeah, Blunderbuss. <clears throat> um, so, all right, let's go. 13. 13 is what you need to hit. Yes. Nice. Okay. Damage that motherfucker. Um, 10. 10 points of damage total? Yeah. That's enough. So describe how you blast this thing. Um, Thank you. I just, uh, okay, well, I guess this is the moment where I do hold up the blunderbuss. I say, get off my plane! <laughs> Great. Blast this thing. It just kind of catches its jaw. The jaw snaps off and it goes flying out wow. in, into the, the air uh, and plummets away. Hell no. Great um, job. What's a plane? I don't uh, know. I don't know. <laughs> it just came to me. <laughs> this plane of existence is what you meant, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I heard of it. <laughs> uh, Friday. Oh, um, I was I was already I was thinking about stuff I was gonna do to Krakow Flappy, but now I'm just <laughs> watching it go down, down, away, away, away. So, how many of these guys are left on this one. thing? There's one, one that on you guys probably can hear, but she can't see. Prayer see. circle for we could, we could help from we could in the hoist, plane. Hoist her up to was, like kind of creep and look over, right? Yeah, because just, the hatch is free again. Yeah. yeah. So you know it's a little deja vu, but I'm gonna hop up on a seat. I'm mm. going to peer over the hatch, <laughs> and I'm gonna Eldridge blast at the thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, do no. I roll anything to do it? Yeah, you roll uh, d20, and you add your charisma and your proficiency bonus. Hell okay, yeah. 15, Fuck yeah. charisma, 19, mm. what's the other thing? Plus three. Plus three, uh, what did I just say? That's, that's 22. 22, okay, 22. Get um, off go my ahead play. and roll damage. Uh, that's a four. Four points? Four points. Do you proficiency bonus that too? Not for damage. Okay. No. Uh, so you just see like this like weird lightning. <laughs> this like light, light, lightning light. Lightning uh, light. Zaps into this thing that's on top of you and like it, it, it howls a little bit. I need both of you to make a perception check also. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, 13. 13? I got oh, a... 16. Yeah, nine. Okay, you're focused on like hitting this thing. When this thing kind of like moves away, you kind of like are able to get some bearings and you see just this massive, what looks like, um, there's, there's kind of these like floating rock islands around. Mm. You see a piece of that rock island kind of peel away from it and like start moving towards the ship. And as it does, all the pieces of the rock just sort of like shift and become this like large squid like <gasps> shape. And it just starts hurtling towards the ship. Uh, um, what? It's your turn. <laughs> Wait, okay. so it's a squid made out of rock. Yeah. Great. So I attack the. Great. The, uh, <laughs> Good. I attack the. I have no more mana. This is great. Crocodile. Um, <gasps> Wait, sorry. Go on. And I use. I think I'm just going to use my knife on this one. Okay. Or if I. If I light it, will I be able to do an opportunity attack if I do the if I get it on fire again and um if it leaves your threatened area, you can make an attack of opportunity. It did that because it was on fire. Got it. It might, not, it might not do that every time. Okay. Yeah. Um all right, so I'm just gonna attack it with uh with a good old large knife. Okay. Fourteen? Fourteen. That is? Great. And then we'll do I got two plus four. Six. Okay. Yeah. It's looking hurt still. Uh, you okay. just jam your knife into it. Um, it, it howls again. Uh, back to the top of the thing. Let's see what Storm does. Um, where's my D8s? More, more like Earth stuff is like ripped from below. It just starts like flying up towards the ship. Hmm. Um, so Scorpica's got to got to make a. I almost call her Serpico, you guys. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, this time she's not able to uh, catch it, so I need everybody to make a dexterity saving throw. Seventeen, nineteen. Success, success. Um, uh, Twenty. Success. Eight. Fail. Mm. So both of you take uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage mm. as the ship the Whoa. as the the ship gets kind of oh. hit with this uh, there's like earth stuff flying up from yeah. the ground. And just you get slammed into the ship and take some damage. And the ship kind of slams into you for Great. being on top. Oh. Um, uh, and then Scorpica goes, Oh, we need get back in the ship. Gutar, get back in the ship. We gotta go. Um Great. Uh, and uh she she's like, you have the you're tied to a rope, right? Yep. Okay. She launches this like claw that's no longer attached to you. Uh, and just it just like flies out. So she's like, just grab that claw. Okay. Um, I grabbed the claw. Well, it's not your turn yet. Oh. Um, uh, <laughs> Damn. But she's like, we need to we need to go. Uh, um, Haven't we been going this whole time? Yeah, but. <laughs> and she she kind of she, yeah. she's like she's like we got a gravinox following us. Uh, and you guys will look out. Okay. Or if, you, if, you, if you look out, you can see what she's talking about. Um, uh, the one that's on you Rock tries to attack you again. Rocktopus. Um, it does not. It's not going to hit. It tries to bite you and it just misses. Great. Um, Resident, your turn. <laughs> um, so, do, can anyone when, just pull? When we were rope? all looking at the manual, really close at the thing that he was flying on earlier, did yeah. we learn that this thing was remote controlled and that it doesn't need to have a person on it? Um, it needs to have a person on it. Okay. Yeah. All right. To drive it. Um, I'm going to try and shoot this thing and then run away. Um, okay. So. I, what what thing? Uh, uh, thing that's still kind of on the ship. Is there still anything? No, Helmer blast is the blasted one that was it. in the. Okay, great. The ship. There's one on top that you probably can't reach up, up to. Um, mm, so no, I'm just gonna. Oh, right, sure, I'll pull him in. Okay, so you just grab the rope and start yeah. pulling him in. Mm -hmm. Give me an athletics check. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Uh, yeah, you're able to pull him. It's gonna give you like a little bit of, a, of an edge here. Um, I don't think you'll draw the type of opportunity as you get kind of yanked away because it doesn't see you moving. You just kind of get like uh, pulled. Can um, I ask Kurt to like help if I need it? Or actually, yeah, go ahead and make it with advantage. So you can hire twelve. Yeah. Okay. Well, twelve was twelve. Okay. So Kurt's out. Was a one. Yeah, I said twelve was. Oh, but you get yeah. okay. You, you don't get lucky bastard. Got it. You could use lucky bastard. Oh sure. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what, what happens. Oh, um, so you're, you're kind of you're helping to pull uh, guitar, and you get about halfway back. Okay. Um, 
you are close enough to the the hook if you want to grab the right. claw, uh, Diana. Uh, um, what I'm in the ship. Yeah. Who's not in the ship? Good We're time. trying to get the rope up. If you want to help, just keep pulling. Yep, I'm helping. I'm pulling. <laughs> okay. I'm pulling with a lot of rage. Um, actually, were you up in the cockpit at all? No. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and pull on that rope. Baby, get in here. Um. Okay. Give me an athletics check. Oh man, I'm not athletic. Should I start? Oh, yeah. oh a natural twenty. That's what happens sometimes. So, yeah. 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 Minus one. Oh, it's a nineteen. Still, it's, it's, it's a nineteen. Not, yeah. uh, <laughs> I can do a full pull up. A nineteen would still be enough in this moment, but yeah, you you pull uh, Guntar the rest of the way in, just Diana Marco. Oh. Uh, you're back into the ship, and I make a lot of noises. <laughs> <laughs> this is for Julius. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, she's like, close the hatch now. Um, okay. And, uh, Why are you acting like it's our fault? She says, she's just <laughs> yeah, being like- been helping this situation. <laughs> she's been driving the whole thing. Okay, but what would you do without us? Yeah. We didn't bring these creatures she's to this get damn planet. The hatch. I guess very calmly, she should be in this moment where your lives are in danger. <laughs> uh, and uh, closes the hatch. <laughs> and then you can feel the ship just like, take off as this like massive, you guys can see like through whatever windows and things you can see here, uh, like whatever windows in the hatch, just this like large, it looks like a squid made of rocks around this thing that's being held together. And you can see this one huge eye like looking at you as it's pursuing you. Uh, I don't like that. Scorpica dodges or like changes the course out of the storm entirely and just dives. Oh. And you guys are heading towards like a volcano right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Um, <laughs> chill. And chill. Um, yes. Yes. We should have just stayed in the temple. I'm going yes, speed, I'm gonna speed run word. this. I'm going to speed run this. Uh, we're not going to do this in initiative order, but stuff's just going to happen. So can I get someone to roll a D8 for me? Oh, man. Uh, Oh. Sure. I'll roll it. Yeah. I got it. You got it. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Um, okay. Uh, there we go. Um, so as she's kind of diving through this, um, yeah, you guys are all inside, so that's good. Uh, there's like, you can see like there's this like gas that just like, poof, like uh, ejects all around you. Um, and as you also, as you're diving, you see like that, that thing that was attacking you just kind of gets thrown off the ship. Right. And there's like this like tentacle made of rock that just like reaches out and grabs that thing, like super quick, just like snatches that there and like brings it back. And like the rock sort of like shift and be create, create like a mouth and just like crushes this thing. And then just keeps pursuing the ship. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that was, you guys need to survive five rounds of this. Uh, <laughs> so that was one round. Mm -hmm. So give me another D8. Okay, God damn it. <laughs> Four. 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 Um, okay, I need everyone to make a, Sorry, a guys. dexterity saving throw. Ow! Fall. Got a three. Um, yeah, I got a four. four. Oh, wait, um, but uh, five, six. Um, I got a six. Uh, ten. I'm not doing good. Seven. Twelve. Twelve? Okay. What'd you roll? Seven. Okay. Everybody except Helmer uh, takes five points of fire damage as there's like just a wash. As she's even Scorpica's trying to like uh, kind of navigate through this like lava flow mm -hmm. to like lose this thing. Um, and there's just like a wash of like lava that sort of like wash, rolls over the ship. The ship seems fine. It's able to, it's got shields to absorb this stuff, but the heat kind of catch through and some of you like burn your hands on the edges as the heat dissipates. Real quick. Yeah. So I am I now have Hardy and mm -hmm. I feel like I'm taking a lot of pain today. I'm wondering, is does me having Hardy help me at all with this five points of fire damage? Hardy is only when you're resting and you're regaining hit points. When I'm regaining, okay, yeah. thank you for letting me know. <laughs> um, I'm in pain. Um, it hurts. All right. Stay strong, everybody. Stay strong. This is really scary. <laughs> Remember, we want to hope heals. Uh, I need another D8. Here. Two. Two. Uh, I need everybody to make a dexterity saving throw. Is that with my 20? Six. Mm -hmm. okay. Six. Fail, fail. 13 plus two is 15. Yeah, <laughs> okay, success. 
I rolled 15. <laughs> this side of the table is about to die. <laughs> <laughs> like really scared Nine. today. Nine. So the two of you and Helmer uh, both just get knocked to the ground as there's just like this sudden tremor inside this thing okay. and it even in, in, impacts nice. the ship. <laughs> um, no, not too Ow. bad. Okay. All right. There's two more to go. Wait, what's the damage? There's no damage. Right. Okay. You just get knocked roll. to the ground. Okay. So you guys are just on the ground right now. Sure. Roll. Someone roll in a, a D8. Uh, great. Which one? This. Guys, this is so scary. Two. Shit. Same thing. I need everybody to make a dexterity saving throw. You guys can make All right. it. Who on the ground to make it with disadvantage? Okay, well, we've got 17. With seven. disadvantage? If you're on the ground, yeah. No. Hell yeah. We've got 17. Yeah. 11. Yeah, I got three. 17 with disadvantage? I rolled 17 okay. and 18. What's up? 11 is my total. Okay. Three. Um, okay. Four. Four. Okay. So you, you guys both get knocked down, too. Knocked down prone. Everybody who failed the second time. I got seven. You take three points of bludgeoning damage. Wait, say, say that one more time. I got it. Bring it. So if you only if you fail damage twice, to spare, baby. Yeah, sorry, you <laughs> failed twice. So I think I think just Guitar and Homer. Okay. Take a rest. Took three points of bludgeoning damage. Can okay. he rest during this? Okay. <laughs> nope. Uh, this is the last round. Uh, uh, give me another D eight. All right, let me do this one because it's my life depends on. Oh my god. <laughs> Six. Yeah. Woo. Come on. At an eight, that's good. <laughs> that is good. She's got to make a dexterity check. <laughs> Who's she? Scorpica. Scorpica. His girlfriend. Scorpio. Natural 20. My wife. Oh, Natural 20. Natural 20. Natural 20. Natural 20. Yeah. Scorpica. Yeah. 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 She did it for me, baby. Power of love. That's the credits for this one. So oh there's this, this <laughs> last one where she's, oh. she's sort of like driving through uh, or like piloting through this like narrow like lava flow. And there's just like a moment where uh, the section above, like the ceiling, just sort of like collapses, ah. but also the bottom does too, and she just dives like down into that and avoids that that collapse. Ooh. And that way she's like, oh, just like holding on for dear life, like wide knuckling, and like basically like kind of pff, uh, exits out the other side of the volcano, clear skies, um, wow. rough ride. But you guys can all the biggest bone right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And that's our best is pants. Uh, I think damage for Gunter's pants. Let's it feels, roll for it. Feels it feels weird to describe the spire in the distance now. But... <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Big spire. Everyone has their eyes on you it. You guys are approaching the spire, uh, the Procadian Spire City, and that's where we'll pick up next time. Whoa. Wow. Journey. Whoa. You are. Uh, Beat up. <laughs> we are yeah. beat. We yeah. are fucking Mad Max, Max man. We're ready to go. Oh, that's oh, bad. Crazy. There's more yeah, danger well. in the air than there was in the jungle. 11 over here. That you really know of. It's fucked up. Yeah, what's everyone's hit points? 10, I'm five, at 16. 11, 11, 16. 21. 21, okay, you're you're doing okay. I did okay, yeah. I made it a while without getting hit. You took a lot of damage. Yes, five. Yeah, yes. I went down from 49 to 5. Wow. That's wow. insane. Well, you took some big risks. Yeah. I took some big risks all in the Thank name of love. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.